Well, hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday to y'all. I hope this is okay volume-wise. So far, good. Alright. So, yeah, uh, this game just came out today. Uh, this is a sequel to one of the Haunted PS1 groups. Uh, previous titles that was called Chain, which was a collective haunted uh, anomalous. What it's gonna say here, I think. Interactive novel or something like narrative, interconnected narrative, anomalous. But yeah, this is Chained, Chained, Change, <laughs> Changed. I don't know why I can't read words. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. So, as, as the uh, intro there alluded, the, the main hook with this one is, uh, not only is this a collection of demos that have an interconnected story uh, from the people that put together the uh, Haunted PS1 collections, although not explicitly that team, just teams that have worked under that before, from my understanding, like, the, the organizer's a different person for this, uh, but uh, there's also branching paths at the end of each game, basically. Uh, there's also a heck of a lot more than the original one, so uh, yeah, let's get to it, shall we? But I'm guessing with the branching, we'll probably be able to at least finish it today. All right, let's go to the readme. Oh, here we go. Hey, you know, I should have just gone in. It would we could have read this instead. About changed is a collaboration between devs from the Haunted PS1 community. Games are developed one after another, with a choice at the end of each game leading uh, to a game by another developer. Uh, each developer only had the context of the games preceding them in their branch. Games in other branches were left hidden. There was no communication between developers during development. The project was organized and developed by Adam Pipe and Coulter uh, Wy Weimeyer, I think is how you say that, with sounds and design by Victor Kraus. Uh, the trailer was cut by O. Culto. Thanks for playing. Anyway, point is, I eat this stuff up. I'm super excited. Let's go into it. Uh... Inspect. We got movie rental. I don't know if that's part of the template or not. Yeah, it is. Okay. Or no, that's the name of this one, I guess. Game by Neither Nathan. Music by Maya. Vico Studio. Wasad. Left button or E to interact. Cool. No rating. Don't mess with time. Please rewind. And now is when... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, now is when they... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Stupid VR controls. Wait, you, you guys not see that? Oh, you can't see anything. No. Okay, hold on. Gotta hide something. Stop popping up, VR. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Grr. Also, I just realized something else. Hold on. To hide this, and I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. I was like, how is it hiding that? And I realized, oh, it's not capturing anything. Uh, okay. Uh, the other thing I gotta do... Whatever, you guys can see my taskbar. I'll allow it. No. Wrong. <laughs> good, good start. <laughs> there we go. Cool. New horror games? Indeed. How's it going, Skull Spidey? New VR? Oh, god, I just closed the game, didn't I, by doing that? Yep, sure did. Uh, whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, well, we're restarting everything now. Thank you, Steam VR, for... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Anti-Crisis is won, etc., etc. Um, I'm gonna hit reset progress just in case it thinks I, like, completed that game, because it kind of seemed like, hey, you chose a thing. We all know Wyoming is more terrifying than Kyoto. <laughs> reset progress. Confirm. Thanks for- man, I don't know if that's a crash or intended. <laughs> Might be intended. I'm not really sure. How you doing, Skull Spidey? <laughs> Alright. Actually started in the first game, what was this called? Uh, movie Rental? VHS tape? Or I guess maybe just tape one. I'm not sure how these work. Or maybe uh, be kind or don't 
abuse time rewind or whatever might be the actual name of it. Okay. We're going to just ignore this VR window. I'm going to minimize it. Hopefully it'll stay gone. Television. I don't think this works anymore. Hello, Lucy. Short for Lucifer. Mommy, I'm scared. <clears throat> I'm scared too, honey. When can we stop hiding? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, darling. I'm sorry. Not too bad yet. It's dangerous out there. It's even dangerous to be looking out there now. Oh yeah? I can't zoom in. Nope. <laughs> Not today, Satan. What album do you think that is? I think I have to look out there. Now that I put the cabinet on the way, they might go away. Hey, they did. Amazing. Surely they won't jump scare us at the window. It's dangerous to go alone, throw Lucy for distraction. <laughs> Son of a bitch. My daughter! Leave? Only way to go. It took Lucy. Time to see an old friend. Oh, is this gonna be like Mandy or something? Hey look, Evil Dead. I think, right? Uh, yeah. Purple Velvet Video. He was hiding in here while the world ended out there. Comedy movies. Wish I could laugh right now. Hourglass. That's a save point. Hope he can help me. I'm not a fan of movies where everything explodes. What about romance movies? I think we can say that nowadays the romance is dead. There is... These are all like horror... That's... No, that's not um, what I thought it was. That says zombie though. That might be that. That might even be the poster for White Zombie, the the um, the like 1920s film. <laughs> that looks very familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I was gonna say The Shining, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> anyway, very romantic horror movies. This became pretty much real life. I don't need drama to cry right now. Man car time. <laughs> Coming soon. This was her favorite movie. I love man car time. TV shows. How do people have time for this before the end of the world? Video games? They are the same cover as everything else though. Wish Lucy was here. She loves video games. Can I play an arcade game? This machine is broken. Damn. And I have no time to play either way. Saw the thing? Nice. Oh my god, it's like the Matrix. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Look who's back after all this time. How can I help you, Catherine? He took her. The Antichrist took Lucy. Oh my. I don't even want to think about what they do to the children. Doesn't matter. I'll get her back. Also, Cat. And how do you plan to do that? Or on doing that? If you don't mind me asking. Give me your magical scepter. Architect-like man. I mean, I can feel your pain, cat. But she's probably already gone. I know. I don't plan on getting her now. What do you mean? 
the Antichrist has never existed in the first place, dot dot dot, he would never be able to get Lucy. Now I see. That's why you need my help. You're the only one that can help me, Kronos. <laughs> God of time. I'm flattered, Catherine. But my powers are limited. Even more now. You're bluffing. You know me well. The Antichrist is too powerful to go against like this. I don't see what I win in all this. You owe me your life, Kronos. You're right. <laughs> Tell me your plan. I wish I could make the text go faster. I want to make sure he's never born. I see. You know there was a lot of rituals in the past, so he could come to power today, right? Yes. I want to stop them. Alright, so here's our setup, I guess. Oh, still going. You'll have to, each one of them. If you want all this to really work. You can see various points in time which helped him climb to power. But I can't find the conjuration. <laughs> yeah, no, I said that right? Conjuration. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I said I'll stop them. All. I know. But you'll have to start by the conjuration ritual. The How can I discover which one was the conjuration? One. <laughs> I guess you won't. Got him. I have two possible dates and places. You'll have to choose from. Alright, here's our split. Show them to me. Here they are. My face fly. First one is Wyoming, 1968. Second one, Kyoto in 1986. Welcome to Blockbuster. <laughs> Shouldn't I go for the first one? Not exactly. It's not the conjuration. You'll be just losing time. And time is the most precious thing you have right now. Okay, I think I'm ready to choose. We're going to Wyoming. All right, but first, if you need my help while you're in the past, use this hourglass. So, what's it gonna be? I choose cat. Third option. <laughs> Three-eyed cat. Okay, so that's why I skipped to a decision. I'm going Wyoming. Let's do it, baby. What's up, D314? What lies in wait? Okay, so... I, I don't know where... I guess the title is just on the front. Whatever, man. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> May your prayers be answered here. Uh, okay. It's got inventory by Vladimir Floor. Additional sounds by Carl Barnes. Rating Gore. Let's roll. Shush. Isn't Vladimir, Vladimir Lore like the main person that orchestrates the, um, uh, what 
Madvent calendar, there we go. Or at least one of them. It's okay. You're safe now, my child. I won't let... I won't let it get you, Lucy. There are fates worse than death. Oh my god. It's anime antichrist. <laughs> I didn't expect to see the face of such a dear friend so soon. Did I misinterpret the chain? You've made no mistake, Damien. Something unexpected has occurred. He's a mohawk. <laughs> unexpected. Haha, <laughs> I've never known the god of time to be surprised. It's Catherine. I can only speculate the cause, but her decisions. Normally grains of sand dropped in a river had mysteriously become boulders carving new streams. She's become unbound. Unbound. Interesting. She may be the key to ending it. Please, Kronos, bring her to me. About that. I wasn't the only one who noticed. Look, been a while since uh, I of Ined and the cold food. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! That's the classic meme. <laughs> Why do they call it the oven when you hold hot food in and out? <laughs> they got me. <laughs> so this is Wyoming. Doesn't look like there's anything for miles. Hmm, smells like candle. This bed smells musty. Nothing is on this nightstand. It's, it's pitch black. There has to be a light in here somewhere. Can't. Oh, the candle. Need a match, though. This'll work. Just need something to light it with. The oven. Okay, that's not working. Colonel spawned me here for a reason. You should explore this place before blindly heading out. Uh, in here, maybe? Nothing in it. Spawn. It's spawn. It has to be the oven, right? Oh, maybe I have to like, uh... Oh no, that's just listing my items. There's some matches in the pocket. Mine now. My matches now. Gross. These aren't fresh, but they're not that old either. A journal. March 3rd, 1968. It's only gotten worse. The constant noise. A thousand voices taking all at once. It's deafening. I can barely hear myself think anymore. All I have left is prayer. April 16th, 1968. Just when I thought I couldn't take anymore, my prayers were answered. I still hear their voices, but it's not no longer just noise. They've begun speaking as one. August 22nd, 1968. I have a hard time telling what my thoughts, what are my thoughts and what are theirs. I've been compelled to dig. I started the hole behind my altar. Uh, that's where the voices were the strongest. Number 12th. They want me to make an angel. They want to make me an angel, but they can't until I sacrifice my sight and listen. It's his own eyeballs. Ah. Okay, so behind the uh, altar. Oh. <laughs> that's why it was funky. Wasn't the side they expected me to go in on. Catherine, Kronos has deceived you, but fear not, for I will watch over thee. What? Ah, my head. Who's there? Show yourself. Come forth, my child. Life is a creek. Uh, you've thus far drifted blindly, and I am the water on which you float. The ocean where all things end, and the rains that replenish. Enough with the metaphors. I am the mother of all creation. That you may me know you may know me better as God. Don't look like any god I know. Whatever happened to being created in your image? Selfish lie humanity tells itself. To obfuscate their uh, insignificance. So we're just ants to you? Atoms to the cosmos would be more accurate. What does the cosmos want with an atom? Damien is a monument of hubris. Uh, believing his power ordains him the right to hoard souls? So long as he is allowed to exist, life is destined to perish. Tell me something I don't know. You're wasting time. You need to stop the conjuration ritual. Have the pieces not clicked for you? There is no conjuration ritual. Corona sent you back in time as a mercy killing, hoping you'd run out the clock. What? 
No, he owed me. As he owed me. My treacherous dis disciple has been a habit of, has a habit of betrayal. Only interested in in which in his own benefit. There's still hope. And we'll send you to the moment Damien is most vulnerable. And with this, you will smite him down. And anyone else who dares try and stop you. And what do you get out of this? The one removed from my paw. Should you seek my guidance, you will find me where the seeds of faith have been planted. Go forth, my angel of death. Blue? That's blue as hell. Chronos' stream was always green. Speak of the devil. Catherine, my attempts to keep you off the board have only prompted you to being the most important piece. You have my deepest apologies. I don't need your apologies. I need you to get out of my way. If you attempt to stop me again, Damien will not be the only casualty. There's much you do not know. Allow me to take you back to your time. Damien will explain. You'd see me face the Antichrist at the height of his power? I need you to trust me, Captain. I don't know what lies that thing spun. Is it a lie that you sent me on a wild goose chase? Things are different now. You've been gifted a power that can end this conflict. Which I adamantly intend on doing. Now move. Catherine, don't be so rash. I implore you to reconsider. Do I shoot his Morpheus looking ass? Hmm. Or let him take me to Damien. I'm tempted to shoot him, but also I think this is more interesting if I spare him. I bet that railroads us into like the haha you're an idiot and you're just listening to everyone ending, so we're gonna we're gonna spare him. Good faith. By Octolotter Games. Flashing lights, alright. Be careful, folks. <laughs> you know, out of curiosity, if I can go back here, hold on. Oh, I didn't know I could look at the tape. Neat. Um. What is this one called? <laughs> I guess it's just called Tape 1. Hmm. Yep, it sure is. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> On to good faith. Oh, my frames. See, Kronos was successful in retrieving you. Welcome, Catherine. Lucy, where's Lucy? What have you done with my daughter? I think you know the answer to that already. You bastard. Huh, my gun, where is it? Forgive me, but we had to hide that new toy of yours in order for this conversation to go smoothly. Have no fear, you will have it back once we are finished talking. And what is it you're so desperate to discuss? Tell me, Catherine, what do you think happens when you die? Uh, nothing. Nothing happens. We die and that's that. Uh, if only that were the truth, an eternal rest, long and peaceful, a fitting end to a life of torment. Such niceties are sadly not offered to your kind in the end. The truth of the matter is far, far more grim and unkind. Moments after the passing of a human life, God sends an angel to collect the soul. The soul is not ferried to a higher plane of existence to enjoy paradise, neither is it laid to rest, it is harvested. What God intends to do with these souls is unknown to us currently. We do know that once the harvest is complete, not a sliver of the person that was remains. The process is long and is very painful. Their essence is completely drained and their mind numbed. And yet, the soul continues to live. Oblivion is not even afforded to those unfortunate, unfortunate many. They are painfully conscious and suffering, even now. That's why I've begun collecting souls of my own. I can spare what's left of humanity from this righteous torture, uh, as I've done for Lucy. Bullshit, you're a murderer. I knew you'd be difficult to convince. 
Tell me, when you met with God, did they seem like the kind of benevolent thing being described in scriptures? Did it seem like they cared for humans? Uh, no. They called us Adams of the Cosmos. I thought so. Such a God truly invite humans to live with them in paradise after, th after their demise? I doubt that. But perhaps you need further convincing. Ah, Kronos, perfect timing. Catherine here is still in need of some encouragement. Did you bring the tape I requested? It's right here. Excellent. Consider this a show of good faith. Kronos always told you he was unable to send you back to this moment. Er, wait. I told you he was unable to send you back to this moment. That may have been a white lie. Forgive me. I thought it would be better if you didn't. With this tape, you can change what happened that day. And if you can't, at least you'll get to see an angel at work. Best of luck, Catherine. Hope you don't regret this. Uh, where's my gun? Give me gun. Hey, man. Cat, what are you doing here? Thought you said you were going to stay home and look after Lucy. Where is it? Is that really you? Ezra. What? Of course it's me, sweetie. Damn, am I that dirty already? What's gotten into you, cat? You look so pale. Is Lucy alright? You died. <laughs> you died, Ezra. You never came back home. God, cat. Don't say such things. I'm perfectly fine, see? I'm sorry to have worried you so much. If you're scared something might happen to me. Maybe it's best if we work together today. We finished in no time, then we can head back home. Does that sound good? Yeah, let's get it done quick. Okay. I'll check out this area. If you could look around, that'd be a great help. Inspect Hydro Flask. These flasks ended up being surprisingly durable in the end. This one's empty. We have more than we need back home. I'll leave this here. Hmm? What's this? Could be something good in here. Cat, behind you! Ah! Uh, they got me. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like a couple of nobodies. Please, let us go. We're no threat to you. Maybe not you, but her, however. Now, just what are you doing with an artifact like this? My gun! No! Stop this! Let Ezra go. He's got nothing to do with this. I can tell you everything if you just let him go. Sorry, no can do. His soul is still valuable. Look around you. It's the end of the world. God is purging this world in preparation for the next. The only thing left to do is collect souls of the living. If you have any dignity left, you'll give them up freely. This isn't good. Ezra, is this how you died? I can save him this time, but... I can't let those two take that gun. Should I save Ezra and get out of here? I'll risk it all to get that gun back. Hmm. <laughs> Retrieve gun, baby. <laughs> Alright, next one. This is The Weight of the Generations. By Moya Horror and Amos Sori. Music by Nikki Kuki. Mind Sane. More flashing lights. Prepare yourself again, Chad. <laughs> Press any button to grab the weapon. It's just gonna be like, uh... I'm pressing the button. No! Ezra, no! Ezra. Not for me. Stop that. You dead? Oh shit, <laughs> it's popping off.
I think I didn't finish those guys off properly. Yeah, they're still going. Oh no, those are new guys. Yeah, that'll teach you. I gotta say, interesting alternative to animation, <laughs> just have him float and ragdoll. <laughs> ah. Not sure if I'm like not finishing them off properly or this is just randomly spawning stuff. That's well, gonna get out of hand pretty soon here. <laughs> ah! I wonder if this is just gonna keep on, or or like what what the plan is here. I for one am glad that. Not every game was just like a uh, sit and talk and maybe solve like three puzzles type deal. I can't help but think I'm doing this wrong. Like maybe I should be focusing on accomplishing something. Oh no, the pizza store is burning down. And the demons are taking it over. Oh shit. I don't think there's anywhere to go. Do I have to like, help my husband or something? doing How are you still alive what the hell also why is he tiny oh my chat froze oh wait is my computer dying for this game no maybe I don't know hopefully my stream's not completely effed I wonder if it's because uh, Steam VR is on. Okay, hold on. I need to probably check this to make sure I'm not like <laughs> capturing this at like two frames per second. Like it kind of feels like I might be. All right. Um, uh, what happens if I hit escape though? Okay. I can't. Well, I hit escape and now. Oh, there we go. All right, kill me. End the game. Hope that's my browser tab and like everything's fine over here, but we'll see. Can I not die? What the I'm stuck inside of this now. Try harder. Oh, I actually have to do something. Okay, well, uh Hold on a second here. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this. Refresh chat real quick. Yeah, okay, we're good. So that breathing was you. So all it took was try harder. I, 
Am I just surviving? Like... Figures there's no uh, hourglass to check for help or whatever. This Doom Eternal 2 is looking good. Got him. Maybe there is something to see here? I guess it could just, like, legitimately just take a while. I don't know. Doesn't appear to be any other attacks I can do. Though it does seem like the next wave spawning is triggered by me killing stuff, so maybe. Maybe that's all there is to it. I feel like every time I try to blow something up, like, the guys are right in front of it as I'm trying to do it. How did he manage to pull that off? <laughs> How is this not blown up yet? There we go. Die, demons. Can't wait for this game to explode my fucking, uh, stream again. You think that's enough? It's... We, we good here yet? It's actually gonna just crash. Why? 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 Why is this game like this? I guess all of these seem to, like, let me choose the next choice if I close them manually, so maybe I just gotta do that. This actually might, like, crash my stream or something if I keep trying to press my luck here. How is this... Like, this can't be what you have to do, right? Oh, I said... Okay, I can look, I can look away. I can pull the, the classic GoldenEye speedrunner trick. Just don't look at it, and then it's fine. Everything gets cold. Do I have to, like... I don't know, man. I can always go back and save Ezra and we'll play a different game, I guess. That's an option. At a bare minimum. Yeah, I can't fucking... I... <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid, I don't know. But I see no other goal in here. That, that symbol might be getting bigger, I guess? I don't know. What's even hitting me? Like, there's not, nobody near me. Oh, there are guys behind me. Get out of my way! Why do, why do they have collision for so long? Time to upgrade the PC. I tried that. Didn't work. <laughs> my PC <laughs> failed to let me upgrade it. I'm thinking you gotta just get a circle big enough that something happens, maybe? Because it does seem to be getting bigger. It's just gonna break my PC before any of that happens. <laughs> I mean... I can keep doing this, I guess, but I, I don't even know if this is how I end it. Just shoot the cars, maybe? Shoot. Oh boy. Hey, I did it! <laughs> that was surprised. That's so fucking loud. The surprise is here. Ezra's dead, and you, all you managed to do is complicate things. Fuck you, man. As a result, 
of your use of the legendary weapon on mortals. Their potential generations have been wiped out. Total carnage. What's the purpose of this? Fun? Thanks for the GG's. Two paths lay ahead. Either you head back to your apartment and maybe reach Lucy in time before the kidnapping. Or you just trust me to know what's best in the situation and jump to a time and place by my choosing by touching the hourglass. Spiritual sequel. <laughs> it's a spiritual sequel to Postal. It just came out with a Postal sequel recently. Fuck you, Kronos. I'm going to my apartment. Wait, I can't choose. Why can't I choose? Did I, did I choose, or did that... Oh, there we go. Changda. Hey, what's up, Reyna? Fuck you, Kronos. I'm going to the apartment. I'm gonna make things as worse as possible. I'm gonna turn off VR, because I feel like that launched for no reason on the first game, and maybe that's been fucking up performance. Let me know if sound gets kind of fucky or anything, because it does technically change my audio source. It seems like it's still capturing, though. I do like that I'm sitting right where the readme is, though. I just realized that. <laughs> Read me! <laughs> anyway, next game. Uh, There we go. This one's called I'm Sorry. I am sorry. Waxing lights, distressing sounds. <laughs> By Sebastian Letia. Let's move around with this one. Aw, uh, no more shooting. Fuck! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Here. It's here. The last building on the left. I like the graphics here. Unironically. Uh, aside from the fuzz, but whatever. The debris is blocking the entrance. This isn't like I remember it. It wasn't like this. It's worse now. It's a lot worse now. Oh no, Lucy! I hope she's alright. Wait! There's a back door. There must be a back door around here somewhere. Let's try and find it first. I wonder how that's capturing. <laughs> Shit! It's locked. Way too high to climb. I think I saw the property caretaker's van nearby. Doors locked. There's no way out. Oh, there's the van. Dude, why? That's a giant ass van. Or maybe we're very tiny? I don't know. Oh god, no. That's. that's the caretaker. Poor old man. I'll take the keys. Oh fuck. Lucy, <laughs> look how much profanity there is in this. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, fuck. Okay, so that's uh, the keys of the gate. We're not smashing through it with the van. Unfortunately. I could, do, I could do without the, like, fuzzy screen every three seconds. I have no idea how that's, like, translating on stream. It might just be completely blurring everything at all times. <laughs> That's it, it works! Lucy! I'm just glad the last game didn't melt my... 1080. <laughs> FMV? Or not FMV, um... Fucking... CG cutscene. Lucy! Lucy! Mom? Where's Ezra? Uh, Lou. He's fine, Lou. We need to go. Okay. Remember the car graveyard? Yeah! The one where we saw the walk wagon with all the flowers? We've walked through that. Real quiet. Like Lupin. Lupin the third. If you see someone, just be quiet. Okay, Mom, like Lupin. When we go to the woods. There's a path to the coast. Then we take a boat. Should be a few boats there. I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna go fishing. At some point, we might. But first, we need to find a boat. 
I'm sorry. Is it a bad time? Mom. His eyes are weird. We have not met. But you have seen a part of me. The man from the ritual. Isaiah. Yes. I am also Uriel. But you may call me Isaiah. I come with a message. What is it? I want to express my gratitude. And also on the behalf of... <clears throat> also on the behalf of the being you know as God. Why? You have successfully prevented the worst. By the worst, I cannot elaborate because... Well, it's beyond human comprehension. But it's been a delight working with you, Miss Blanche. What happens now? What do you think happens now, Mom? The ocean looks funny. There are f fates... There are farts. <laughs> there are fates worse than death. Mom? It's alright, Lucy. It's alright. Use our space gun again on him. I think we might have reached a dead end, actually. <laughs> Unlocking a door equals preventing the worst. That's all God needed us to do. There I are fates more morse than de Dale. They are fast morse mors han eel. The mos ha eel. Uh, vim shale. Tim shell. Tim shell. Tim shell, guys. Yep, that was the end. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's that's chained. I'm not playing. It. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we go back and like go depth or like from the beginning, choose different stuff, or like go back one chain at a time here? Because I want to see all of it, and I don't really want to replay stuff. So maybe it makes more sense to just go back one link at a time and go the other way. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I think if I select fast forward, that'll let me go to the choice. I, of all the games, even though this was probably the most fun, uh, I would rather not explode my PC again. So let's go ahead and do it this way. <laughs> all right, let's let's let Kronos take us where he wants us to go. The God Hunt R. Rating <laughs> loud gunshot one. God Hunter. Duh. It's a high capacity VHS tape. Uh, this is by Cuddlefit. Cuddle Fresh. <laughs> Just arrow keys and enter. Okay. Additional notes. Aurora photographs by Tobias Bjorkli. Easy RPG is licensed under the, Genu the GPL V3 license. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know what the hell Easy RPG is. I assume it's something like RPG Maker. It's cold. What the? What is th what is this place? Somewhere in the north? Oh, it's got a point and click. Are we gonna fight J God in an RPG? <laughs> Kronos, you told me to take a look at these. If I ever needed health, help. Haven't been helpful once so far, but it's not like I see anything else to do. I like all the different animation styles we're getting here. Kronos, the god of time. We're nowhere. Also, thanks for the fucking static, man. <laughs> That's gonna look great on stream. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, at the end of all things, the beginning of all things. Hello, Catherine. Enough, Kronos. I'm tired of it all. Where's my daughter? I understand your patience is wearing thin. Huntress, but don't you dare call me by that name again. That's a name I left behind. You left behind a quantity of different names over the eras, haven't you? Damien remembers the one you were born with. God Hunter. But you've come for guidance, not reminiscing. Walk towards the Aurora. That's where the ending lays. Aurora Borealis. It's so majestic. Here we go. The winds of time have also whispered your last name. The name you will die with. God Hunter. It's our first and last where God Hunter, God Hunter is our official name. 
Uh, the air is different here. It's beautiful, but... And God jump scare. What's going on? It is God. <laughs> God in quotes. You've come far, seedling, but this is where your journey ends. Where's Lucy? Gone. What? Gone. 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 The snow is ashes to a failed promise. The light as a reminder of her passing. Over eons, I have grown accustomed to the cold detachedness, detachedness of the universe. I wonder, however, have you? You have made countless mistakes over your journey here. Too trusting, too bloodthirsty. I see worlds where it isn't so. Would you like to see what I see? Hell no. Screw that jazz. <laughs> yeah, screw that jazz. And you will die braver than the others. False chained god. <laughs> Eat him. Blap, 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 blap. I did the best I could, but you can't do much with a broken world. Maybe another time. With the passing of the false god, the world was left ashen. Catherine sat down and pondered upon the aurora. Her death will not be mourned, for there is no one left to do so. I got the, the bleak ending. <laughs> Her death will not be swift. That much I can assure you of. And although the cold may grace her cheeks, there is a warmth inside her. Mommy loves you, Lucy. She always will. Alright, there's another ending. Uh, going back up here. This is... Oh, wow, that was not that far back, huh? Oh, no, this is... Okay, this is where we grab the gun from the guy instead of saving our husband. Alright, we're gonna rescue him. Executive order. <laughs> Okay, so it's just dialogue. By I. Williams. Flashing lights warning. Kronos, we need your help. That said click to... Why, why, why Urza looking all low poly compared to everybody here? <laughs> Captain, what have you done? We need to get out of here. Not so fast, you Morpheus looking fuck. I wonder if that was a coincidence or if that two people just said that randomly. <laughs> His ear fell off. No. <laughs> Ezra, Kronos, why not join them? Now we gotta Katamari our body back together. Catherine, Catherine, do not be afraid. Your body may have been vaporized, but I have intercepted and rescued your soul. What? Why? Who? Who are you? I'm Gaia, the life force of this planet, and you, Catherine, are the chain breaker. The chain breaker? Yes, you are destined to end this conflict between celestial beings. Damien, the Antichrist, and God, the creator of all. For too long, they've been... They've tortured the beings of Earth, harvesting their souls for their own use. I just wanted to save Lucy. Together, we will make sure no life ever has to suffer the same fate as Lucy again. To aid you in your battle, I will give you a new body to grant you the power beyond comprehension. First, a token of friendship from my dear loved one who recently, tragically passed. 
Kronos's blessed shoes. Uh, they will give you unmatched speed, allowing you to move so fast it will seem as if time itself stopped. Next, I will channel the spirit of every living creature to regenerate an energy, sh energy shield so you may be protecting your time of need. You will not suffer alone. And finally, forged from the great red cedar trees of our ancient forests and the iron ore from the Earth's core, a golden AK-47. Oh, thanks, Gaia. <laughs> With this power, you can end suffering caused by the otherworldly intruders. There's no way I can kill both of them. There's no need, my child, if you see Damien and God's life force are joined by the uh, links of a chain. Ending one will end the other. You are meant to break the chain. This is this is all... It's all bullshit. Maybe. <laughs> but now it's time for you to choose. Will you pursue Damien in his 1,000-story tower located in the center of Cyber Neo New York, or take God, take on God in his determined demented inverted chaos castle beyond reality? I want to do both, but, uh... I mean, pursue God. Come on. How can, how can you not... How can you not click that button? Alright. Holy Halls of God. I gotta see this tape. Just, just sky. <laughs> Ooh, right mouse ball button to slow time. Okay, otherwise, standard FPS controls by Warkus. Rating Blood and Gore. Hey, Godot! <laughs> Put down your weapon, and accept the gift which has been given to you. Eternal life. Here with us in heaven. I think not. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <clears throat> you need no more anger. Rest now, sorrowful soul. You must be so happy to learn that you will become one of us soon. Nope. There's no need for violence. There is no death in heaven, only eternal resurrection. Oh, they did just come back. That's why they're completely unfazed by this, then. Let's watch it happen. Amazing. Welcome to heaven, sorrowful soul. We will all live eternally as long as there is a god. Wait. This is the end of your journey. Rest now and accept your fate, living eternally in heaven. Okay, so they just say random things, each. Okay, but why make this so thin? <laughs> just saying. I do want to mess around with some 3D stuff in Godot at some point. Um... But 2D was fun. It's been a minute since I've done any 2D stuff. This god. Hello, god. Did I just shoot you? Wait, why, why do I have the ability to slow time? Oh, this is gonna turn into a boss fight, maybe? If the branching is spread evenly... Should be another thing after this, right? And as promised, with the death of God came the death of Damien, and all evil. As the creator of everything vanished, so did the creation itself. Everything that is left now is nothing, and nothing is what is left. Was that really what you wished for? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe these aren't evenly partitioned out, actually. That could be the case. Oh. I had to press E. <laughs> okay, let's go face Damien now. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> Cute. Uh, oh gosh. it's a lot of credits on this one by Bryce Butcher, Ben Dury, uh, Simone Peltier, and Modus Interactive. Oh! That's you. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> thanks for the game. <laughs> or thanks for working on this collaboration. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, no warnings on this one. And welcome on in. 
<laughs> Thanks for checking it out. Oh, I love these things, man. Uh, played all the Haunted PS1 collections. Couple of couple of games that have been got or that have gotten full releases since then. Not all of them, though. I know there's some that I still need to play, but uh, and I I eat this stuff up. I love checking out what indie devs are up to. Cyber Neo New York 26XX. Damien Tower stands taller than any structure be structure before it. Lowering above the clouds, it serves as a monolithic reminder to those who remain. To whose hope stands stands tall, the tower stands taller. Like the building itself, Damien's rule is sturdy, immovable, and absolute. A benefactor of death. Tonight is different, though. On this night... Time bends to a new will. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Raina. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh nice, the point and click. May I offer you some shoes? <laughs> I don't take bribes. And take this, you son of a bitch. It worked. Probably should have talked to him first to see if it... See if he said anything, but oops. Hello, do you happen to have an appointment? Uh, yeah, I'm here to see Damien. Considering this building is supposed to be under complete lockdown, I sincerely doubt it. Relax, I hate this job and I'm not a snitch. <laughs> oh, well, in that case. Sorry, but no, I don't have the means to put you in Damien's penthouse. Besides, it'd be too risky. Think you could disable that metal detector for me then? Hmm. That's also pretty risky. I take bribes though. Do you want a photo of my daughter? What is this? A picture of your kid? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Alright, fine. Take Kronos' shoes. Me. I'll give you these shoes. Will you turn out the metal detector for me? Fuck it, why not? Seems distracted by the monitors. I don't think he realizes I'm here. Also me. <laughs> I think I see a safe in here. I can't get in there, though. There's padlock on the handles. Oh, yeah? Not so sure about the glass. But I think I could easily shoot this lock off. I still want to alert this dude. He'd probably jump me. Well, he could die, too, then. <laughs> Former security officer. <laughs> Always feels weird to kill someone. <laughs> Well put. I was just like the uh I just gotta do all the ones that are like this. I don't know, I think I have to line it up so that it makes a uh it's like Resident Evil almost. <laughs> like village. Wait, what's this? Some kind of document here. It's for a security department request. Uh the paint on the safe styles have been scratched off. And each dial has been randomly rotated around. Anyone who has operated the safe prior has had their memory wiped. So its proper combination rests only with the mind of Damien himself. <laughs> Certainly one way to do it. I think I have this one wrong. I can't change these ones. Oh, maybe I have to like just press a handle. No. Oh, 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 oh. It is like Resident Evil. <laughs> or Village. It has to be like a contiguous. There we go. I don't know why that took me so long. <laughs> oh, look at that. The key card it says Penthouse Key on it. Nope, don't read it again. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. We'll go ahead and back up there. Oh. <laughs> kind of wish the FPS game was actually, like, a game. <laughs> like, that seemed like that was an alright FPS engine. But all you do is shoot stuff that does not fight back. I guess it is heaven, though, so... 
you know. <laughs> Alright, I think this is it. Ooh. It's a cool penthouse. Damien. Hello, Catherine. You know, it's kind of funny. Shoot him too? I'm about to. At this point in my life, I haven't actually met you yet. You're exactly how I'd always imagined. Don't actually know what I've told you. Uh, but I know what I've told myself. I'm going to save your soul now, Catherine. <laughs> no. No, my gun! I question how well you know me if you thought that was going to work. No! It's not even real gold. Oh my god. Listen. I'm trying to do you a favor here. My shield! You look scared. What do you think is going on here exactly? I'm trying to help you. I thought you would have known that. Fuck you, Damien. You know what? Maybe you don't deserve what I'm trying to offer you here. It's all in my hands, after all. I think I'm just gonna keep Lucy to myself. She obviously means a lot to you, right? She must be something special. No, the god gun. Say hi to God for me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm a little confused because it said there were voiceover, but maybe I... The Homestuck? Is there <laughs> is that a thing at Homestuck? <laughs> or is it because he just has red eyes or whatever? No. Ooh. Is that? Is that the guy from the beginning? The guy that took his eyes out? But I thought you were... Oh no, it's Kronos. I'm a time traveler. Aren't you with him? Why are you helping me? I have some questions right now. <laughs> it's... Obviously it doesn't look exactly like Kronos does, but... It's weirdly kind of close, considering that these are all... Whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Here. Let me help you up. I was spending some of my free time traveling around, and the funniest thing happened. I came across my own soul. It told me what happened. Everything. I made a deal with Damien. I told him my soul was off limits. I guess the guy just couldn't help himself. Honestly, I'm glad to see you're alright, Cat. But... You know, killing him isn't really going to change your ultimate fate. Well, about that. Wait. What the hell did you do? Nothing, I swear, but listen, Damien. God, they were connected. The chain. The whole thing was all... Boom. Apocalypse reverted. I could talk to my daughter at any time. I'm going to go to look at TV first. Oh, it's man car time! <laughs> I used to love watching this before. <laughs> hmm, what am I talking about? Before what? Did she just... Did she pawn it or did she just turn around? <laughs> hey mom! Hey sweetie! Do you ever have bad memories? Well, yeah. Not everything in life can be great. But it's what makes the rest of it so meaningful. What bad memories are you having? I don't know, some guy is holding me. It's fire, I guess. I think you were having a dream, honey. Sometimes those get mixed up with memories. Oh. Sounds like there's someone at the door. Who is it? Couldn't be Damien, right? Oh, no, it's- oh, yeah. Hey, honey. The good ending, we found it. And time rattled on. Mm. Oh, never mind. I don't know where you've gone, but I'll be seeing you there, cat. That's got to be like the good ending, right? I'm curious. We have, there's a whole. We have like half the game left, at least. I think there's one other branch I have to explore on this side, too. Ups and downs, the ebb and flow. 
Unless that ends like really shortly or whatever, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Each day it takes its toll. Sometimes a pittance, sometimes a horde. Enough beauty and pain, finally death strikes a chord. An eternal promise of eternal rest. <coughs> Pardon me. An unfortunate truth that serves humanity best. Sleep well, Catherine. Love this, like, soft jazz playing. I don't know if that's coming over right or not. I don't know if I screwed something up that caused there to not be, um, voiceover. Because that mentioned... Am I, am I stupid? Yeah, voice. I don't know. I might have screwed something up. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got all this to do. And... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah. We got a lot of game left. Each branch was blind to other branches, so whether any end up being good or not is just kind of depending on what the dev wanted to do. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. They did mention that, and then I just promptly <laughs> completely ignored that. <laughs> Alright. Take this, Kronos. Blap, 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 blap. Deja Void. By David Rodriguez, man. Drienya or Drienyan. Sorry, I butchered your last name. My bad. Game by Kate Killick. Side to move left bumper to interact. Right bumper or right bumper. Right mouse <laughs> to put on off the glasses. No rating. Okay. Need cover. Mandarin on. <laughs> Maybe. There's no coming back from what you did, Catherine. Oh, I'm taking your glasses, punk. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's do this first. Presumably, I'm gonna need that to like solve puzzles and stuff. Ah! Loud noise! Ma'am? Everybody awake? <laughs> Is this spelling something? No. Uh, maybe I should look at the glasses. Maybe we'll see some special stuff in certain areas. Or it'll do something with her. Oh, cool. Missing memory. Uh, hello? Activate. Oh, I'm missing the memory, so I can't... Just identifying it, it's not something I can do. Look at that fucking... Chad pose that the baby's doing. <laughs> Baby tough. He's about to kick some ass. So if I do it in like the wrong spot, I just get this. Oh, but it shows you where the next one is. Okay. Cool. My teeth? Chompa chompa. Do I bring that back over here or? Maybe I missed an item for this part. No. Oh, that's the missing memory, not me. Hey kid, you want some teeth? <laughs> there could be an item out there that I missed on the way over here. I'm gonna see if these teeth work in this next section here. Oops. I think I just need to put stuff in these missing memory slots, but I don't know 
where I would possibly use teeth, but we'll keep looking around. <laughs> Ah, the void. Hello, giant baby. Her favorite memory. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's a VHS tape. That probably goes in the TV. Calm down, baby. Everlasting bond. It's time man or whatever that thing's called. Ooh, neat. Ah, oh, no, the teeth went back. Dang it. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll probably just... Keep wandering around. Is that, is that gonna be teeth? I don't know. I thought I'd find more items over- Oh, we're not- We're not out of road yet. Baby bottle. Okay, that's got to be um, the first memory, I think. Is that always rotating? Yeah, whatever. I'm guessing that's teeth in the other section there, but... Tell if I know why that's teeth. <laughs> it's... Yeah, there we go. A nurtured childhood. It is kind of amazing how cohesive this all is, given that, like, it's kind of like a telephone game, where all the devs were only given context of what the previous thing they were branching off of was. I also liked the first chain, but that... I feel like there's a lot more cohesiveness to this compared to the first one. <laughs> But, you know, they, they have their own, their own strengths. Oh. The betrayal of your own body. Oof. Too real. My glasses! No! I broke them! Oh no! We're in hell! Oh yeah, we did- Oh, that was all three of the areas. Come in! The horrors of aging. The passage of time. <laughs> An everlasting bond. Love that. <laughs> Me at the function. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to let. I know it's supposed to be like perturbed or whatever, but it's just. Ah, uh, she's still going. Oh, that's a teddy bear this time. Nurtured childhood. What's that? No! Me door! Well, Catherine, you did it. The choice is yours. Do you want your door back or your child? <laughs> Run away or protect the child? <laughs> protect baby. Obviously. That's what we're doing all this for. I am a Harrier. Oh, is this going to be like a shoot em, shoot em up? Shoot up, if you will. Be kind. Please rewind. Haha. <laughs> why is it... A, why it's a home movie? By Autumn Rain. Uh, maybe it isn't a... Uh, maybe it's just a regular shooter. Shoot up. I need to oil my chair up. I swear it's like getting louder every day. <laughs> Wise decision, but you knew, or but you know that, but know this: when the time comes, you must fight. Ten years later, damn. <sighs> what do I exist as now? A paradoxical ghost? 
Protecting over Lucy and myself, protecting from demons, angels? I don't know. Ah, here comes some now. Or here comes some now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can still move with Wasad. Oh, wait. But I can aim with the mouse to shoot. So it's kind of like, um, I guess that game is called Space Harrier, isn't it? Or whatever, the one where you're like... That's not quite the same perspective, though, because it's just strictly 2D. It's not like faux 3D. But she's drawn in a way where it's kind of like that, which is messing with my head. And your bullets also kind of go that way. It's like that meets Undertale. You finally after searching all the timelines. Do you even know what you did? The trouble you caused? Get out of here, cat demon. How did I... How do you get away? Chronos dead. These things are able to tra travel... Time streams. Let's walk and talk, don't worry. Girl won't need your protection anymore. We're going to the source. I just realized they're death animation. <laughs> or not animate, the death graphics. What, you can see me? How can I trust you? Ow. You can't trust me, but I'm all you got now. Let's walk and talk. There we go. I can't hear it. Oh, you can't hear anything? Fuck. Wait. Oh, my chair. Gotcha. You're growing stronger this time. I've had a plan for as long as I can remember. Working together, we can do it. <laughs> Post Kronos, any time this place being time travel? Wait, shit. Time stream allows for travel between time periods and timelines, yes, but. Also, the tri dimensional gates, the gates of the bridge, the gaps between our worlds. I'm dancing. I feel like it's gonna get hard to read things while. <laughs> while doing this. Unless the game doesn't ramp up, but I doubt that will happen. I doubt that won't happen. We're getting closer. Ah ha ha! I feel like that guy's flipped me off. It's not quite. Are you tired of being nothing more than a pain on this pointless existence we have? You deserve the power to mark your own reality. Yeah. You feel it. Your soul yearns to bend fate. I feel it. You feel it. Not sure what I've been feeling. You feel it. <laughs> Do you feel it? It gets stronger the closer we get. I don't even know what my health is. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> I've taken a couple hits, though. Nice music. It's a bop. Come on. Ah. <laughs> well, here we are. From here, we can ascend to kill God. <laughs> Dethrone and kill. Wait, no. What the fuck is the thing called? And finally, cease this endless hampering of the lives of all. We can do it together. Ascend to the great beyond and kill God, or descend to the depths below and kill Satan. Let's kill God. I can't. Hello. No. <laughs> Ascend and kill God. Ascend. Cream. Wait, cream? Cream. Cream. Secret cream. Cream. <laughs> made by. Oh, made by secret cream. There you go. That's why. Art by Samuel Santos Ferraz. Uh, music by Theo Marcolin. Direction and art by Raphael. Umio Forti, coding by Everston Maze, uh, Maze Mazepa Game Dev, translation by Marina De Mariz Rosa.
uh, Wasada arrow keys, select option bars. Oh, wait. Space bar to select stuff. Gotcha. Cool. Flashing lights and loud noises. I wonder if I could have lost that last one. I bet you probably can. There was another one we played that we could have lost. The one that, like, broke my PC. <laughs> the actual FPS game. Ah. Where are we? Are, is that God? Oh, it's Damien. We find ourselves in the beyond, Catherine. The great beyond. All right, now, where are they? They... And who would that be, Damien? Ah, yes, I see. Now she is by your side, supposedly. The last rock in my path, which keeps me from fulfilling my true purpose. Who has always despised me, despite its inferiority, more now than ever. Monument of Hubris. Thus, I see you. It's God. <laughs> Catherine, I know that it has been long. I believe you have successfully completed your mission. Kronos has never been a viable option. Ahead. It's throbbing. Attack! Ow. <laughs> His glasses mirror your mind, and now shattered. It almost impresses me the effect of the time streams can cause on such feeble such a feeble creature as human beings. Attack. Again. Who are you? I don't remember my head. Keep fighting, Catherine. If you don't pull the trigger, I'll lend you both. Foolish. This weapon is my creation. I graced it. Final Fantasy 16, final boss. Isn't that the boss in Final Fantasy 1? Don't you fight God at the end of the first Final Fantasy? <laughs> uh, Lucy, where is she? Damien, I miss her, my daughter. She doesn't need your protection anymore. Damien? Won't you share where Lucy is? Do not listen to them, Catherine. The only Final Fantasy I've ever beaten is, uh, Final Fantasy VI. And I don't remember what the end boss was in that. You might. I'm a filthy casual fan of the series. I, I'm a super casual fan. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't even say I'm a fan of the series. I've played, uh, like I said, I beat six. I've played nine. I got pretty far in that. Uh... I played Tactics and literally couldn't beat the tutorial because I was a dumb kid. And I think that's all the Final Fantasy games I've ever played. <laughs> I'd probably enjoy Final Fantasy VII Remake. Although, I don't like that it, they're doing the, the, like, splitting it into, like, a billion parts thing. Kinda sucks. I kinda get it and can empathize. Because I have always said and will continue saying that games take... Sorry, games cost way too fucking much to make. <laughs> so if that's what they need to do to make it viable to like release it that way, whatever. Anyway, hot take of the night. And the creator, the most powerful being of every realm. You have no means to detain me, especially you, Damien. Weak, frail, powerless, you shall never reach my feet. Not even Kronos could make it this far. Forsaken, you're doomed to isolation. Wrong, because she's with me. Catherine, you amuse me. Try again, I'll show you amusement. You won't. <laughs> Lucy, shut your trap and eyes. And eyes on the target, sweetheart, or I'll make you as useful as Kronos right now. Do you like the, the bop, though, going on? Finally, I'm the highest of be beings. I have the right to rule above all. I'll forever stain my reality with my doings. My power will pierce the heavens. I cannot believe this. What will become of the universe? You have no idea what you've done. She should have been dead from the start. You don't deserve this power, Damien. God, what have I done? Please, Damien, I need her. Let me take care of my Lucy. I'm afraid that won't be possible, dear. Won't be because she is now a part of me. Her flesh, her bones, her soul, and her will to live and everything you call Lucy are all part of me now. Everything so I could ascend and defeat that worthless bunch of tentacles who you call a god. Everything thanks to Lucy. She was delicately picked by destiny for greatness. Reality weaved the perfect path for me to pursue uh, and for my triumph to shine. Cheer up, Catherine. I appreciate the chance and appreciate the chance I'm giving you. The chance to rejoice in the birth of your new god. It can't be, Lucy. You didn't do that to her. 
Did you? God, Kronos. Lucy, I need you. Where are you, honey? I will rebirth this reality with my image, likeness, and bathe it in my blood, forever to stain each and every being. This is my legacy. You are forbidden. <laughs> what? How? Wait, what are you? Ah! The hands got him. Damien ceases to exist. Mother, do not be afraid, for I am here. Lucy? <laughs> Biblically accurate Lucy? Yes, I have been beside you since your first breath in this reality, in every reality. But Lucy, you know as your daughter, is no longer alive, but worry not. I shall fix everything that has ever been tainted. I will protect you, protect every you that existed, exists, and will exist. The cat, the cat's back! That was Kronos' cat. Alright, I think that's the best ending. Just pack it up. Might as well not bother playing any more of these. <laughs> um, let me go back in here. Back. There we go. Alright. Let's descend and kill Satan now. I like that. It's cool. I like most of these. They're a pretty good collection so far. They also are all very short, which I think works to the benefit of, like, I don't know. I think, I think when I've gotten frustrated with demos in these collections in the past, they've been games that just, like, run on, like, way longer than their idea does. <laughs> Fall from Grace, that's what that says. By Flynn Mitchell. Enter to move and control. Reading Body Horror. Ooh. They're all very good in length. Yeah, they're exactly as long. Hey, it's an RPG Maker game. <laughs> uh, hold on. Never mind. So usually these have a volume adjustment, but they've taken that out, it seems. <laughs> I like our little NPC, or our little, uh, character. Ooh, it's you! You wanna see the big man downstairs, don't you? Now, we don't need to be so cruel. It's best that it stops now. Tiny window. Yeah, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. But enjoy, enjoy my, uh, taskbar, I guess. Arctic emerged. Lanes emerged. It's the most RPG maker-ass thing I've ever played. <laughs> I don't know there's a problem with that. It does have custom music, though. Also, we're just her. I don't know if you guys can even read the text here. Oh my god. Can we all stop missing? Oh, I got blinded. I wasn't paying attention. That's why I was missing. Her was victorious. 40 XP received. <laughs> uh, there you go. Wait. There you go. I, I think I can minimize this, actually. Or, you know what? Uh, I can do this at the very least. There. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Got you covered. No problem. <laughs> Hello, Satan. <laughs> you're here. Wrong, you're Satan, dummy. Uh, it's not me insulting the developers, by the way. <laughs> I like him. I like the art style of all this, honestly. This of this game. Look, it wasn't my idea to start all this absolute malarkey. <laughs> Sorry, the idea of Satan using the word malarkey is, uh, it's pretty great. The trouble- The troubling kid I birthed has, sent, uh, has been like this since the beginning. What can I do? Y uh, you know what you want- Wait. I know what you want if I could- Wait. I know what you want if I could help you with that, but I can't. And I know the other option is, and you know, I am ain't gonna make that easy. Satan emerged. <laughs> I keep thinking I have special skills, I do not. Twenty-five found. <laughs> it's all coming to this. I like the music too. You're all going down with me. Ah.
And so, it all returns to nothing. I'm happy to stroke your hair one more time. Cool. Uh, I think we wait. Sounds like, uh, Animal Crossing music, almost. I think I broke it. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, no, I- yeah, I super broke it. That- that must have been the end. <laughs> Luckily, the launcher knows how to deal with that. Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, it's nice. I would say, honestly, all these, I've enjoyed them so far. All right, run away. Sorry, Lucy. Uh, what is this one? Transport struggle. You guys, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you guys remember like filling this shit in on tapes. I remember I liked checking the boxes because I could, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> Unlike blank VHSs we had. But now I'm aging myself <laughs> horribly. <laughs> I love the fast forward option too, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh anyway. <laughs> By scissorware. Space jump, E interact. Okay. Minorly distressing sound effect. I you know. I say this every time I play one of these collections, I love that they have these disclaimers on these because it's nice. This one hasn't had anything too extreme in my opinion. Granted, I've incredibly fucking, like, thick skin. Having said that, a haunted PS1 demo disc has made me cry on stream, so, you know, there's that too, but <laughs> it's real sad, okay? <laughs> it had some real shit in to be baked into it. Oh yeah, this is also made in Godot. It's our second Godot game. At least our second obvious one. You've sealed his fate. Give everybody. Well, you guys were here. Well, I think everyone here, everyone that's here right now, was here when that happened. But <laughs> must keep going. I have to get back to her. Anyone watching this vod or otherwise just lurking? If you're even remotely familiar with the the demo discs, well, I guess if you played the one I uh, am talking about, you probably know which game it was. <laughs> Looks like my way out. Um, I don't know what time I need to set that to, but I also don't seem to be able to move it. There we go. Wait. Huh? I'm flipping lost. Time you gotta watch. No. So like clicking on it. No, oh, clicking here does something. Am I supposed to be able to move that? I don't even know what time to set it to, though, is the problem. What's that? It's like a portal there or something. That might just be like the... what this shader looks like in the distance. Uh... I might be stupid, <laughs> but I think I, this, I think this might be broken. Also, I feel like this should have done something when I did a thing on it. 
But that might just be a clue for the, the clock for all I know. So it wanted... Maybe I gotta wait more or something. It's so like the small hand was flat and the other hand was... Oh, whoa, now I can do it? Wait, I can't move the little hand though. The hour hand. Oh, now I can. Uh, that's all well and fine, but what flip in time am I supposed to set it to? Hmm. If I wait longer, these will, like, show me something. Hmm. Five. Change it five times. But the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and five. I can't, I can't get out of here. <laughs> get to watch the whole thing every time. Boom. I'm a puzzle genius. My choices. You make your way out by a train or by a taxi. <laughs> taxi time. Hey, 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 it's time for Crazy Taxi. Angel. Taxi. Ta Angel of... Angel of Taxis. No rating by Oculto, question <laughs> mark. Uh, move, advanced dialogue, crouch, and shoot. People steer. <laughs> the correct button for crouch, by the way. Welcome, Catherine. We're in God's taxi. <laughs> Where are we going tonight? <laughs> I don't know. You have a job to finish, remember? All my homies crouch with C. Blasphemy. Get this man out of here. <laughs> I do. Good. I'll take you... ...somewhere less burdened... ...by the dismantling of time. I'll take you to her. What happened? <laughs> C for crouch and S for shoot. What is this a fucking like DOS game? <laughs> God, screw every single developer that ever made J the jump button on their fucking platformer on a computer. <laughs> you returned from a place of memories broken, but time will heal that. Uh, but that doesn't matter now. What matters is what you'll do next. I will kill him. And then, I'll kill you too, God. <laughs> then I'll have Lucy back. That's the Catherine I know. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't wash away the anger, Catherine. Don't trust this God. Don't wash away the sorrow. Keep the pain. Even... Through the dark, the darkest day. It'll make you strong. Was that truly necessary? Kronos? I mean... He used to be... <laughs> my friend. Pardon me. I like this uh, setup here. This little car, car ride with God. Yes, he became a liability. You saw it yourself. He was working with him, or working with him. 
trust was a privilege he had lost long ago. And what will happen when I become when I become a liability? You won't. You won't. <laughs> How do you know? From me came the ashes of creation. From me came the sands of fate. And from those came you. Now go. And don't forget about the gift I gave you. Slow loading shotgun. Satan, I'm coming in. Hands in the air. Not even tipping the driver. Whoa. Oh. I talked to him. I too imagine God like this personally. <laughs> Satan. It's a me, Luigi. Catherine. I was expecting you. <laughs> Lucy, you're finally mine again. <laughs> My sweetheart. What did you do, Mom? I can't see. Don't worry. We're together again. I'm scared. What happened, Mom? We don't need to be afraid anymore. We're safe. Mom, I'm scared. You're scaring me. Why? It's me, darling. Can't you see? <laughs> no. You're not my mom. You're different. Please. Stay away. Hey. Let's go back home, okay? Oh, I can do that. That's it. I'll take care of you. Everything will be fine. No, please don't. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on a second. I have more questions about this one. <laughs> Going back in. <laughs> also, we can skip stuff, so we don't have to, like... <laughs> that was my first question. Oh, shit. Like, oh, we're still here. Wait, this is different. No, we're here. Oh, shit. That's super cool. Oh, my God. We gotta, hold on. We gotta go figure out everything that can happen here. I'll let, I'll let, uh, Lucifer, not, uh, not Lucifer, um, Damien talk this time. Actually, that's not true. I'm gonna shoot God first to see what happens. <laughs> they put branching paths in their branching path game. Or in this branching path collection. That's dope. This is my favorite so far. But reminder, we're not even halfway through yet, though. <laughs> Bitch. Alright, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, what happens if I go a different way through here? What about this ramp up here? <laughs> There's God. Dead on the ground. Oh, right. Crouch. Well, they're still just over there. I am here. Catherine, I was expecting you. What? Lucy? What happened? Are you okay? Mom, is that you? I... Damien! Damien, what'd you do to my daughter? I saved her. Oh, she... Okay, she was always like this. I... I... You can't tell from far away. That's kind of cool. You couldn't take care of her. There are things you don't know yet. Now you have potential, Catherine. Now you can fix this mistake. Now you can fix everything. I'm glad I have you with me again. I'm just here for Lucy, Damien. I don't know if I can trust you. You see me as the Antichrist. But this war is not something I wanted. With the power you have, you can solve everything. Even Kronos was no match for you. He left me no choice. 
But you betrayed God, and there's no going back now. Mom, what's going on? Lucy, I... Humanity is but a speck of, in the scope of conflict, Catherine. Reality is much more than beliefs and memories. But can things go back to normal? How they were before? Yes, but I need you for that. Very well. Hmm. Okay, dope. So there's like three different endings you can do. I bet he was going to tell me to go kill God, but I already did. <laughs> uh. It's rewind time. All right, last one of the, the right hand branch. Uh, let's see. So this is if we take the train. The ND. Can't possibly suss out what that last letter was. By Ryan uh, Trewick. Tre Trewick? I'm gonna say, probably. This tape cost one three hundred and twelve dollars. What the fuck? Oh no, two ninety nine. Maybe it's even three for two ninety nine. <laughs> uh, no rating. Move space or mouse or whatever to interact. Whoa, newer version of Unity. Fancy. Bet that looks awesome for my bit rate. Hey, we're in Half-Life 2. My... I'm a ghost. Oh, kind of a ghost. I'm glad it's like this. Yeah, me too. This looks really good. <laughs> it actually gen genuinely does look really good. Uh, from like a cool setting perspective. What am I doing here? Hmm. Use a little texture though, but you know, small scale projects, it's totally. Oh, also, they clearly did that for like a uniformity thing. Oh no, it's a maze, isn't it? <laughs> uh oh. Maybe it's not. Maybe we'll be okay. Do you know where we're going? Walking into that big old void over there. So I think we'll be able to finish this tonight unless the other side is just like super duper long games. Because we're effectively like halfway through, give or take. Should I have not done that? You gave up. Your daughter. For a shot. At time. I think I was supposed to do that. Oh, no. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, we gotta go around and get all these things. Pardon me, jeez. Have a little bit of sparkling water and suddenly I'm just... Burpy McGee over here. And I'm excited. I found this really like uncommon brand of root beer at the store when I was shopping this weekend that I haven't had in a really long time because it's really only in like the Philadelphia area. And I got it because I was like, I love that stuff. Your punishment evaded by repetition. There is nothing. Thank God it's not a maze. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Everybody yawning. Yawning and burping. Talking about root beer. <clears throat> the problem is I have inadvertently fixed my sleep schedule, so I'm getting up earlier now. But as a result, get tired in the evening. 
curses. <laughs> not many chains, but one. Or not many chains, but one. So we're still here. Nope, oh, no, we're not. <laughs> <clears throat> you must go back to go forward. Don't make me go back to the train. That's gonna make me go back to the train. God damn it. <laughs> oh, no, this might just be the end. Yeah. Cool. All right. Approximately half of the game completed. The uh, right-hand side here. When I get back, we'll go do all this. It seems like there might be more games over here, but I also might just be not counting that correctly. I don't know, it seems like it encroaches further on this side, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break though. Be back in like a minute or so. And yeah. I, I, I see no reason why we won't finish this tonight, even if there are some more games on the left side, because it's not really that late. And I will gladly play some more of these. <laughs> BRB. Alright, I am back. What more... Oh, <laughs> what more appropriate thing to drink out of... Or not drink out of, but... Uh, drink from... For this collection of horror games than a skull. For a second there, the readme was like synced up with my movement. <laughs> oh shit, that's a lot. Uh, I'll just fill the glass up all the way with the sparkling water. Surprisingly tasty mix. What is this? Or orange creamsicle flavored uh, <laughs> sparkling water? And vodka. But yeah, uh, let me double check. I think we got all the, the chains over here, right? Each of them should have two branches, yeah. Yep. Okay, back to the very beginning. It's time for the second half. So instead of going to Wyoming, we're gonna go to Kyoto. Kyoto 1986 by Adam Pipe. 
and Victor Kraus. Uh, okay. Ooh, attack. No rating. Oh shit. AI generated textures. Shame. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Look at that sky. Looks like bad news. Hey, can you hear me? Who's there? Kronos, is that you? Yes, I'm talking to you through your hourglass. Are you in 1986? Yes, I am, but something's wrong. The sky's all red looking. Damn, I think you're already too late. Too late? Aren't you the god of time? The Antichrist is messing with my powers. I think I sent you just after the conjuring started. After? Can I still stop it? Maybe, but it won't be easy. My readings tell me the conjuring is close. Good luck. This is a surprisingly ominous looking door. I feeling it's inside this building. Alright, time to set things right. See you soon, Lucy. Wait, this is just a regular office. Who would do a conjuring at their place of work? Don't be fooled, cat. The types that conjure up the devil. They kind of fit in the office dweller lifestyle. Really? That's interesting. Better be careful, then. I can't inspect anything. Hey, that lantern's floating. Be careful, Catherine. That's a haunted spirit. It's not friendly. Haunted spirit? That means we must be getting closer. Only I had some kind of anti-haunted spirit device. A computer. I don't know. This wall is awfully different from the others. I wonder. Is there a sword or something in here? Yep. Is that a sword? That's strange. Why would this be in an office? Might as well take it with me. Who knows what I might face. Hmm. This sword's pretty heavy. Wielding a sword successfully has nothing to do with weight. You need to focus first, then strike. How do I focus? Try holding down the left mouse button. <laughs> Take that. Haunted lantern. Secret passage, of course. Be careful, cat. I sense bad energy coming from in there. Don't worry. I got this. Lucy's got a hell of a mom. Excellent choice of wording. Die, lanterns. I don't know they're sending out more. Oh, no, I had to do that. <laughs> ah! Oh no, blue lanterns! Ah! Oh god. Damn. That sound effect, though. This is fun. Ow. God damn it. Uh-oh. Heartbeat sound, that can't be good. How did you dodge me? God damn. I do appreciate that, like, there's a, there's a decent mix of, like, games that are, like, actually, like, proper, like, gamey type games, and ones that are more, like, narrative focused. It kind of makes for a fun pacing. Oh god, we're definitely late. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Is this The Conjuring? Yeah, it is. Hmm, I'm thinking. Is there something we can do? I have one idea, but it's a bit crazy. I'll take crazy ideas, or I'll take crazy in these crazy times. If you bust up this Conjuring Shrine enough, and might summon the Antichrist. Then I can kick his ass. You got the right idea. 
Take this, books. <laughs> Love that. Who disturbs my conjuring? Uh-oh. Ah, Catherine, it's you, and you brought Kronos along. Do you really think your little time heist would work? Damn, of course, he saw us coming from miles away. Taste my blades, wretched scum. Whoa, Cat, you're an eager one. You took Lucy away, you will die for that. Ha 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 ha! You'll kill me with that thrift shop sword? Shut up and die. Hold on just a minute, before you do that, I have something to offer. A choice, if you will. Enter the pit. <laughs> What I see here is the opportunity for a wonderful trade. You want to get Lucy back, right? Don't listen to him, cat. Well, I also need something back. I'm missing a nice and fleshy host. Never. Hey, this is a pretty sweet deal I'm offering. Jump into the pit and become my host. You'll get to see Lucy again. Plus, she'll be super powerful. You could be rich and reunited with your daughter. Don't do it, cat. It's a trap. Come on, you know, uh, you know you want the power to set things right. I'm gonna fight him, but only because becoming him sounds like it's gonna be a bunch of fun games, probably. <laughs> Showdown! Oh, I love that cover. That's the best cover yet, actually. Nice. By Cure. Okay, attack and deflect. That's all the commands. Flashing lights, distressed baby cry. Disappointing. You're a fool if you ever thought you had a chance at winning. No, this can't be. I can't die here. Lucy. Catherine, don't give up. The Time Blade, of course. My divine blessing, your strength, will allow you to strike evil from this world. How futile. Ow! No! No! That's kind of fun. It's like a tug of war. Okay, it's a bit loud, but otherwise not bad. Oh, come on, you're cheating. Get you, Satan, Antichrist, whatever. It looks like he's made of meat. This does feel like the most detailed, like, game graphically, though, so far. Oh, stop it. You fuck. What the fuck's happening? It Maybe my mouse is breaking, because... You know that thing I was complaining about when I was playing, um, Returnal? Or, like, she just wouldn't aim sometimes? It's exactly what's happening. Like, sometimes she's deciding to not block. You little bastard, man. I do appreciate he kind of ramps up as he gets closer to death. It seems, anyway. Or it could just be a coincidence, I guess. Coincidence, I guess. It's a fun little game. The Antichrist is dead, for now. Catherine, you must listen to me. Once you go back, your life will be in danger. Chronos never wanted to help you. He sent you back in time to facilitate the summoning of the Antichrist in person. You were meant to die here in the past. As long as Chronos lives, you and your child's lives will never know peace. This meddling, the Antichrist can come back at any moment. Once you go back, you must kill Chronos before he realizes what has happened. Lucy, she's alive, back at your home. That's as much as I can say. But trust me when I say that Kronos' death ensures her well-being. Did Kronos really betray me? Dude, nice, like, mix of, uh, like, art styles here. It's very good. Why so cryptic about Lucy? Is she really safe? I have to make sure she's okay. What should I do? Uh, we gotta keep confronting people. Come on. We'll go search for Lucy later. Right now, we gotta kill Kronos. Loop Town! 
by Lunar Finch. Okay, no rating. Free music by Soundtrack Universe. Hmm. <coughs> Hello again, my friend. Oh, we're playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> friend, you lied to me. Hmm, how so? You expect me to die fighting the Antichrist. You work for them. No, that's not strictly true. They consider us to be business partners. You see? They seed fear and hate in the hearts of humans. When the time comes, I reap the harvest. What the hell are you saying? Your world is stuck in a loop. The iteration is dying, so your time has come. Not if I stop you first. What, with a sword? Ha! A mortal like you can do nothing against me. Your place is in the dust. But sir, this woman served you well in the past. Does she not deserve a reward? Hmm. Alright, I guess she does. Now at the end of your world, I grant you one final day with your daughter. Will that make you happy, Catherine? This isn't over. Oh, it never is. You have one day, make sure it counts, hee <laughs> hee. It is Animal Crossing. Huh? Where am I? Oh no! I should not have said that. This is bad. What is bad? What is this place? Is Lucy here? Kronos is lying again. He's trapped us. He's toying with you. I'm so sorry. But wait. This might give us the edge we need. Kronos derives his power from three artifacts. They should be here somewhere. So if I find them, I'll be able to defeat him? I hope so. Oh, but we do not have much time. At midnight, your world will end. Let's begin the search. You still have to find some of Kronos' belongings. Remember, you have till midnight to find all three. Okay, shit. Is that my daughter? <laughs> so soon now, Mommy. The Starless Night is coming. <laughs> Death awaits us all. Wood? Is that his belonging? Oh. Okay, they just glow. Oh. Mine now. I am the eternal hourglass. The flow of my sands is, ine is the inevitable passage of time. I've existed forever, and forever I will. Mine now. Like I said. Oh, hello, Lucy again. Why didn't you come for me? Did you forget, Mommy? I thought you loved me. I love this revenge path we're on right now. This might, this might be my favorite, like, timeline <laughs> so far. I don't know, become the Antichrist could be pretty cool. <laughs> you can't stop this. Just give up. Stay here with me, Mommy. Mm, pumpkins. That's must, that must be one of his other items. Damn. I was wrong. I was a fool. where daddy's buried, do you remember? I can't wait to meet him again soon. I was about to say that doesn't follow with the canon of the other stories, and then I remember that one, that's on a completely different branch. Two, they aren't... The devs were only told what came before this, so... Yeah. I am the scythe of endings. When the last breath of the multiverse is ex exhaled, I will be there to treasure it. Do not fear me, as I am here for you. No, it's too late already! Where's the last one? I assumed it would have been like here, but... Oh, it is. Damn it. I am the crystal eye. I see the past, present, future of all beings, real or imagined. I look at the ne never -wers, may might be's, could haves of humanity and judge them. Got him. See, you found three artifacts just in time. It's almost midnight. I saw some bad things while I was looking for these. Tell me, what is this place? Those things, they aren't Lucy, right? I'm so sorry to go through this experience. This place can bring out some of your worst memories. But it is not real Earth, and you can still save it. And the real Lucy. This time, are you ready to face Kronos? I am. Let's kick his ass! 
Hmm, excuse me? You weren't meant to return from the halls of time. Never mind, you are too late. Your world is sublim subliminating. Slub sublimating as, as we speak. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your last day. Can't say I'm not generous. Boss, hmm, Kronos. This woman has fought bravely for her world. I believe humanity deserves another chance. You too? I won't tolerate this. I'm the lord of time. I am the all-consuming. Oh, shut up already. I love the art style in this. It might be the best one, actually. Even though I said that about like, the last game we just played. <laughs> Some really good art in this branch over here. It's over, Kronos. What? How? No, oh, no, this can't be happening. Moral should never bear this power. Alright, Catherine, I concede. This world must end. It is not my choice. But I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next one. Return my artifacts, and I'll keep my word. He's lying again. Kill him, Catherine, and take his power for yourself. It's the only way to stop the loop. Take his power. The unraveling. <laughs> the thrilling, a thrilling conclusion to the Chrono Chronicles. <laughs> Love that. By Modus Interactive. It's a void of a tape. Rating flashing lights. Uh, use artifact, switch artifact. Okay, cool enough. Where are we? We are nowhere. An unplace. I have failed my duties as the god of order. Kronos has begun to unravel himself rather than cede his power to you. The artifacts provide a small de degree of temporar temporal stability. <laughs> We may continue to exist here, for now. So what, we can, what can we do to stop this? Kronos will not take Lucy away from me. You still possess the artifacts, perhaps. Yes, I can sense the vortexes of crystallized time forming in the wake of Kronos' wrath. If you gather the power, it should be enough to assume Kronos' power and replace him as the god of time. We'll do whatever it takes. I'm coming, Lucy. Fly through all the Star Fox rings. <laughs> I will guide you through this unplace as many times as it takes to stop Kronos. Let's go. It is- oh, shut- oh, we are doing fucking Star Fox here. Okay, so that- Ah! Guess I grab these then? Motherfucker! Dude! <laughs> Why is this one so hard to get? So I think I broke it because the purple stuff I don't think was supposed to like stay there. It's kind of cool. It's like Star Fox with like a bunch of like other stuff you have to do in it. The perspective's a little fucked, but I mean otherwise it works just fine. Visuals are nice too. Oh fuck! No! God damn it, man! <laughs> we were so close too. We gotta start at the beginning, don't we? Yup. <laughs> Brutal. Just 
just those two, hopefully. I can't see how to get in there. Oh god. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's down here. That was the final time, Vortex. All that's left is to confront Kronos. Oh, I love that. This little ticking clock thingy. God damn. Can he just be a giant face? <laughs> or or brain. He's near. Prepare yourself. Kronos, show yourself, coward. This is really well made. He has a giant face. Of course he is. Why did I expect he wouldn't be? Hello, my old friends, Catherine, Themis. Kronos, you have to stop this madness. The entire multiverse will cease to be. Multiverse will cease to have ever been. The gods have grown corrupt. Even Themis, the god of order, uses you as a tool. Themis wants to stop you, Kronos, and I will do anything if it means I get Lucy back. Foolish. The appearance of the Antichrist set this path in motion, and it must end now. Haste the blade, motherfucker. Okay, I was... It was doing stuff. Can sense temporal disturbances around Kronos. Use the crystal eye to find a weak spot. Aha. Ah! Fuck. <laughs> That's cool. I wish, uh, I guess you can't really have a visual for it, otherwise it would ruin the point of using the eye. But I wish there was something to represent, like, hey, that's what you do. I guess him getting hit by it's good enough. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. God. How am I missing so bad here? There we go. Whoa! Die, you bitch. Where is it? No! I don't know if I have health or not, but I probably do. No! Oh, God damn, man. There we go. And he probably has, like, a lot of health left. <laughs> Judging by the... Well, maybe his face isn't deteriorating. Oh, there we go, yeah. No, the multiverse must cease. <clears throat> You cannot say stop the unraveling. Now, Catherine, use the power you collected from the temporal vortexes. Make yourself the new god of time. <laughs> Multiverse should have never been. That was straight up a DBC sound. <laughs> I mean, not exactly, but damn close. That one was dope. A little hard, but I mean, you know, it's not super long, so eventually you get it. We saved our kid, but not our husbands for some reason. <laughs> Alright then. It's a cool ending. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Okay. Uh, no, though. We're gonna keep going down this. We're gonna go do the other ones over here first. Alright, let's be reborn. Would you want to see... Would you want to see all of the time before your eyes? What else would there be? Just static. Oh snap! Ah oh, snap! 
another AI game by Razorfinger. So I guess this one doesn't really have a name, unless I'm missing the name somewhere, but... Flashing Lights. Also, thank you for the raid, Noir Mouse. Perfect timing. How'd your stream go? I saw you were playing some of this as well. <laughs> Hope you had fun with it. Appreciate the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. You guys know what this is because you just saw Noir, Noir Mouse playing it. <laughs> the static. Had some problems with OBS. Yeah, same. <laughs> or, well, some problems with capturing this game in general. I don't know if that's what you're talking about or if you just had general OBS problems, but... <laughs> Mommy! So, what's it gonna be? Come on, you know you want the power to set things right. Hey, it's everything we did so far. I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next universe. Fine, I'll be your host. Oh wait, we didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these games have a lot of static in them, which is just not great for bitrate in general. Uh, one of them, like, almost killed my computer. I don't know if you played the one that was, like, the FPS with, like, the space gun. Or not, not the space gun, the, like, the super gun. <laughs> that, that game... Nearly melted my PC. It's like a slideshow on stream, I think. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next universe. Oh! Lucy, I'll be with you in the next universe, I swear. So what's it gonna be? In a quite shocking turn of events, the Antichrist is the new president of the United States of America. What a crazy year it's been. <laughs> Let's go, Satan. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. President. <laughs> Guess I could stay here just a little longer. Mom, things will be different in the next universe, I swear. Weird kitty. Finally, with Kronos out of the way, I can take the power of God of time for myself. We should do that more often. <laughs> That's the best ending. I hope that one exists somewhere. But again, that preceded that shoot em up one. Oh, nice. Right on. That was fun, too. I This whole... Uh, I, that one had an amazing art style. The, like, Animal Crossing style one, you mean? That was great. Sorry, Mommy. The Antichrist is right. This world needs more chaos. Again, speaking of bitrate... <laughs> Whoa, here comes Fuzzy Goon. <laughs> it's just the nature of anything with static in it, really. <laughs> I love this image. Um, hi, a cat. <clears throat> oh, where am I? Antichrist? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. The other one where Damien's in the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was... I'm so lost. I've <laughs> been, like, binging these at this point. I'm gonna go check on that in a second, <laughs> so I know I'm talking about the right one. Uh, Antichrist, is that you? That's me. Thought I'd take you into my realm for a little while. <clears throat> so I could let my hair down, relax in my true form, and have a nice chat. That old Kronos bothering us. Oh, it's made by Xena. Gotcha. Yeah, I've been reading the names off of who made each thing as I play them, but, like, there's so many of them that I've just forgotten, like, who made what at this point. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Seeing it was especially killing my bit, right? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, you're gonna guess Kronos? I thought you were business partners. Business partner? Is that what he's calling me? <laughs> what a huge nerd. <laughs> kind of sweet, though, and not entirely wrong. We are business partners, but we're also bitter rivals, sworn enemies, best of friends, even lovers sometimes. Regardless of what we, uh, what to call this weird relationship, we are nevertheless soul-bound to each other, destined to fight for all eternity, but never to stay apart. Much in the same way that light and shadow cannot exist independently, yet are fundamental opposites. Unstoppable force and an immovable object. We've been doing this whole song and dance since... Well, since forever, quite literally, actually. Time is weird. The only problem there is... The only problem there is... I'm getting kind of sick of it. Then why don't you just stop? That's the funny thing about fate, isn't it? I just can't. We're meant to do this forever, and that's what we do. Uh, we could try to stop it, but inevitably... Inevitably happens again, and the cycle continues. And that's all fine. That's fine and all, but we've been doing this for so long it's become predictable. By this point, I've seen... Every possibility, every outcome, every twist and turn. 
I'm an agent of chaos and freedom. I thrive in the unpredictability of the universe, but nothing is unpredictable to me anymore. I've seen it all. Chrono says he likes it. Uh, he always talks about things like keeping the order and fulfilling our destinies. I think he's just full of shit, though. I can see it in his face. He's just as tired as I am. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Your Octal Otter games. This one's my favorite, though. It's pretty It's pretty good so far. I, I love the Star Fox one. I, I, I feel like... I've just hit like a bunch of bangers in a row because I'm like, oh, that one's my favorite now. Oh no, this one's my favorite now. <laughs> the only one that like was my favorite for a while was uh, on the right side of the branch. There's the one where you go in and you can just shoot Damien like immediately while he's talking. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty solid. And honestly, so far, this is a really good collection. Uh, if you didn't want this to end, probably wouldn't be here right now. But why, why am I here? Why are you telling me all this? I hate to be the one to break this to you. But since you're sitting right in the eye of the, you're sitting right in the eye of the hurricane. In this one, for some reason, you and your daughter are the only constants in this whole thing. No matter how many times the universe resets, uh, how differently we do things, you two always manage to get caught up in it. Sometimes you're fighting alongside Kratos in a valiant attempt to kill me. Other times you give up your body and become my host. Uh, we wreak some havoc together. Sometimes Kratos betrays you. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you kill me. Sometimes you kill Kratos. Sometimes you take our places. Then Lucy kills you, and vice versa. Doesn't matter what happens, but you two are destined to always be there. And I hate to break it to you, but you two are also destined to never be together. Sorry, it kind of sucks. I guess fate has it out for you. But why? Why me? I'm just a normal human. Sigh. I hate to reuse metaphors, but you're also an immovable object. Oop. You're special, cat. It's your fate to be away from your daughter. It's impossible to go against it. And yet, in every single timeline, you fight tooth and nail against that fate. You live millions of lives. This is pretty cool. In millions of universes. For a game that, like, is just text dialogues and, like, nothing else, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. You made millions of choices. Now the stack's coming back. <laughs> Went up against literal gods. All for the sake of your daughter. And yet, fate always finds a way. A way to keep you apart. Because fate is also an unstoppable force. And somehow, the universe is reset. Time loops in on itself. We try to do things differently from the new timeline. Sometimes Kronos wipes everything. Sometimes I do it. Even you and Lucy manage to do it sometimes. You just can't seem to get your happily ever, ever after. However, even with that knowledge, there is not a single universe in which you give up. Not a single one in which you and your daughter simply decide to stay apart. That's what's so fascinating about humankind. So fascinating about you. Even when faced against impossible odds, the human spirit can never be fully broken. You are the true agents of chaos. Took me a while to realize that, but you really are the key to all this. The only way we can break free from this eternal cycle is if you never existed in the first place. I know it's a lot to ask a single person, but I don't see any other way, and I've seen it all. We were only stuck in this loop because you're too freaking stubborn. The whole universe is looping with you. This wild joyride the four of us are on, it affects everyone. This obviously includes Lucy. She's gone through just as many timelines as you have and suffered just as much as you have in any of them. Uh, she's just as stubborn as her mother. Me and Kronos can't willingly do this sacrifice. We tried. You're so pig-headed uh, that you somehow find a way to take our place so you can try to be reunited with your daughter. She does the same for you, too, in some timelines. Sacrifice uh, must come from you. Fine. What? Fine, I'll do it. Disappearing from all timelines is what it takes for Lucy to have a peaceful life, then I'll do it. But answer me this. If I disappear, will she still exist? Honest answer? I don't know. Not even Kronos would know. Never been to a timeline without you. She might end up being born into a new family where she'll live a peacefully boring life. She might become an entirely new person with entirely new memories. What I can say for certain is nothing will remain the way it is now. Even if we somehow still exist without you, we certainly won't be the same ones you know. Isn't that kind of exciting though? Stepping into a universe for the first stepping into the unknown for the first time? A universe unburdened by the chains of destiny? A truly chaotic world? A world free from this stagnant cycle? I couldn't dream of anything more beautiful. Anyway, I'll give you one final choice. Whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and press this button. You'll disappear entirely and the world will be reborn without you. You don't have to You don't have to press it though, you can stay here for as long as you want. Choosing to not make a choice is a choice of its own, right? So we can keep chatting some more if you want. I do appreciate the company. Been a while since someone was down here. 
but this really is the end of our little game. Uh, we ran through all the possibilities. It was a fun ride. Whenever you're ready, you know what to do. No need to rush. We had all the time in the world. That was a pissful world. <laughs> I did say that by accident. That was a lot of information. You can't just dump on all that on a girl in one go. Uh, how would you rather I did it? I don't know. I guess there's not an easy way to tell someone that they're going to need to disappear from all timelines to save the world. Suck being an internal loop. I did the best I could with what I had, honestly. Explained the full situation. Gave some worlds of encouragement. I uh, thought about giving you a farewell gift, but I don't think you could take it with you. Would appreciate the gesture, though. Give me a gift. I know that I just have to do this. And that, uh... And if this is what it's going to take to give Lucy a peaceful life, then I'm going to do it. But I can't say I'm not scared. Yeah, I get it. Not everyone's used to jumping headfirst in the unknown like that. Kronos must be freaking out right now. He's always known everything, you know? This must all be new to him. I should probably check up on him. Oh, he'll get over it. Are you scared, Antichrist? Sorry, but I'm actually really excited. Uh, I know it's kind of a tragic situation for you. And I promise you could stay here as long as you wanted. Uh, so I swear I'm not going to rush you, but... I'm so fucking excited. Imagine all the possibilities. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, when I imagine a world where Lucy could be happy, I get excited too. But now that I know you're hyped, part of me wants to wait as long as possible before I press that button. <laughs> oh, devilish. We have a lot in common, you know. Oh, shut up. Can I examine the TV? Nope. You know, I was only half joking back there when I said you and I have a lot in common. Probably part of the reason why we're in this situation in the first place. You have some crazy chaotic energy. I respect that a lot. I'm not that chaotic. You saw an ornamental sword in the office and thought, hmm, guess I can use this. You hacked up the whole place. I had to do it. There were haunted spirits in there. Ah, oh, there was also time... The time you told the literal god of time to shut up already. Which is usually one of my favorite moments of all timelines. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And then you were there when I became president and you assassinated me. That was a bold move. I don't remember that. It happened. I hope it did. That sounds awesome. But fine, I guess I can be a little impulsive. If I had to guess, Lucy's probably uh, more of the calm and collected type. Kind of like someone I know. Kronos? Bingo. Hey, Satan. Can I call you Satan? Antichrist is a bit long. Sure, why not? So, Satan, it's a new version of you in this new universe. What would you want to be different about him? I actually think about this a lot. Let's see a world where the Antichrist is associated with cool tones, like blue or purple Antichrist. <laughs> Instead of loud and bombastic, he could be broody and mysterious and say, Ch when his enemies challenge him. <laughs> challenge him. That would be pretty fucking cool of him, I think. That would be awesome. <laughs> see, I don't want to stop talking to him. So is this hell? I don't know, honestly. Is hell where Satan resides? Because if so, yeah, this is hell. Yeah, likewise, this is awesome. I'm glad I didn't just push the button. <laughs> is hell where bad people get sent to be punished? In that case, then no, not really. Uh, where do bad people go to get punished? Nowhere. Let's get reborn in another life, and maybe in that life they're not so bad. M or they may be even worse. Uh, we never know these things. I mean, Kronos knows. I don't ask him because it ruins the surprise. Okay, be honest. I know Kronos keeps changing hairstyles between timelines. Now answer me this. <laughs> What's your favorite one? Oh, please. Obviously the green mohawk. Is that even a question? I know, right? Keep telling... <laughs> Keep telling him to keep it. I don't know. I liked the the point and click Kronos where he fucking uh, <laughs> popped through with the sword. Said that I had to push the button. Yeah. And he had like the the like metalhead like long hair. They're gossiping together. It's pretty great. <laughs> Just use the green mohawk in all timelines. He then rambles on and on about how it's not his choice, it's all part of a butterfly effect, and everything will always be predestined to be that way, and it's blah blah blah. I think he's full of shit. He just likes to try out new hairstyles. <laughs> that huge dork. The hugest. Let me ask you something. If I'm not the problem here, uh, if I'm the problem here, why don't you just, like, I don't know, go back to the past and kill my mother or something like they do in the movies. No oh, cat. It's a simple-minded way of looking at things. Humans are more than DNA, you know. If you kill your mother, there's still the possibility that another person is born somewhere else, who might coincidentally also be named Cat, might coincidentally also have your exact personality traits, and then we'd wind up back here again, huh? That's a pretty informed take. Did you guys kill my mom? A couple times, yeah. Sorry. Well, I'm still here, so I guess it's fine. Hope I got to kill your mother in some of the universes, too. I don't have a mother, Cat. Why does nothing good ever happen to me? So, uh, that form is quite something. A little extra, I know. But you gotta admit, it's pretty freaking metal. 
Oh yeah, it's metal as fuck. This Chrono what does Kronos' true form look like? Come on, it's Kronos. He's not one to care much about looks. The only real difference is that he holds that, that powerful scythe thing on his back. I mean, adding a whole goddamn scythe to your look is probably metal enough. For some people, I guess. Probably had a bunch of hosts over all these timelines. Do you have a favorite? That's a tough question. I had a lot of hosts. Countless office dwellers, a lot of billionaires, a good amount of presidents. Uh, easy joke, but whatever. Uh, There's one famous singer. She made some really popular children's songs. If I had to pick one, though. You were usually my strongest vessel. No questions there. We haven't done the part where we become his vessel yet. I'm excited for that. Oh, I'll stop it. There's one thing I regret in all these timelines. I never got to pet Kronos' cat. I hate that thing. <laughs> Gives me the creeps. Aw, big scary Satan. Satan is scared of kittens? I'm not scared of cats. I just don't trust them. Especially if they're the talking three-eyed cats. He betrayed Kronos, didn't he? Typical cat behavior. I don't trust them. Not one bit. What about dogs? I like dogs. Dogs are very trustworthy. You should get one. Nah. I wouldn't fit the whole rebel rebellious harbinger, harbinger of chaos vibe I've got going on. Okay. We've got quite a history now, you and I. We've fought multiple timelines. Be honest with me. Oh, okay, shoot. Why is your TV so shitty? Are you broke, Satan? I stole this one, actually. I took it from Kronos' big TV room. <laughs> Layered joke. I like that. Uh, a perk has like a bunch of TVs. Who would need that many TVs? And why are they all playing static all the time? I think it's only fair that I get at least one. Huh. So you are broke. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna... <sighs> you know what? It's it's 10.57 right now. If we're still chatting with Azuda at 11, I'm just gonna press the button. I've been chatting pretty casually here. Sometimes I even forget that you're literally Satan. And that you'd have a cult that kidnaps children. Now that I think about it, maybe I should just press that button and go. I mean, cults just happen, you know? People will always follow anything that advocates for freedom and rebellion. What about child kidnapping and murder? I didn't specifically ask them to do that. Can't you just tell them to stop? That would be very chaotic of me, wouldn't it? Or that wouldn't be very chaotic of me, would it? Uh, true chaos can only happen if I take a hands-off approach and let people do their thing. Humans are simple-minded creatures, though. <clears throat> when they hear the word chaos, their brain immediately defaults to violence. What kind of things do you mean when you talk about chaos? Anything that surprises me, really. There's this one guy. Somehow manages to convince thousands of people taking freezing showers could give you some sort of spiritual awakening. <laughs> could you imagine how or convincing so many people to suffer through cold showers daily and out of their own volition too? That guy's a mastermind. He sh he sowed way more chaos than my f than any of my flimsy cults. That's for sure. <laughs> Without any violence too. Very devilish indeed. Wyoming was crazy, huh? Yeah, what a trip. Do you like Wyoming or Kyoto better? I don't know. I like Kyoto in the summer. Temperature gets kind of uh, crazy hot there. Wyoming is kind of elevated, so the climate's a little too pleasant for me. And Kyoto has samurai swords. Kyoto does have samurai swords. Anywhere you wish you could go? I've been everywhere by this point. You did too. Though you probably can't remember it all. Come on, humor me. Just pick a place. Hmm. If I had to pick a place to go right now, probably Brazil. Hey, Brazil. Great take. <laughs> Let's play Never Have I Ever. Huh, I don't think I've ever played that. Okay, you start. Let's see. Never Have I Ever Kissed a Girl. You have, actually, in quite a few timelines. Oh, well, I guess it's not too surprising. Hmm. Never have I Ever, Never have I ever Stole Something. Oh, you stole a bunch of things. Ha 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 ha. I mean, mostly when I was in your body, but still. That doesn't count. It's still you. Uh, Never Have I Ever Been to Fucking Space. Uh, oh, come on. That's pretty great. <laughs> so isn't Kronos coming to say goodbye... Or, goodbye to me? I don't think so. Kronos doesn't like coming here very much. Uh, why? Because of the heat? Yeah, that too. Plus the fact that this is where I'm strongest and I'd likely end up attacking him on sight. The heat's probably the bigger factor. That's lame. Wish I could see what the, his realm looks like. I've been there a couple times. He's got a bunch of TVs, most of them playing static for some reason. It's the biggest one. It's a big one that's exclusive for movie night, though. You guys have movie nights? That's cute. It's a lot of fun. He invites me over. Watches a random movie and goes, ha! You fool, I tricked you into stepping foot in my realm. This is where my powers are unmatched. Then he tries to kill me. Usually make sure to make just enough of a mess so that he has to reset the timeline anyway. So I remain alive afterwards. <coughs> it became a bit of a tradition at this point. Oh, that's very cute. You guys are cute together. In a fucked up, in a twisted fucked up sort of way. I know, right? So is this hell? I don't know, honestly. Is hell okay, I think we've looped. Right on time, too. There might be more random ones, but... You know, we've been at this for a while, so let's go ahead. 
Okay, I think I'm ready. Tell Kronos I said bye. I probably won't, given that, you know, I probably won't even remember your existence and might not even exist myself. Yeah, we didn't have to do any of that. I could have just press the button, but it was so good. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if he was watching all this happen from one of his dumb TVs. Very in character of him. Thanks for the chat, Satan. It's an honor fighting you to the death in all these timelines. Maybe even more of an honor to just chill with you here for a little while. Yeah, it's fun. It actually helped a lot. Good luck in the next universe. I hope things turn into different turn out differently for you two. Goodbye, Satan. Lucy. You got one hell of a mom. Hope I leave a good universe for you. I feel like I'm gonna have the driest mouth tomorrow from all the reading I've been doing in this game. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was great, though. Love that. Okay, so... Oh no, we still have another branch from when we were... Yeah, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Sorry. <laughs> it's got a DM from Possum. Oh, wait. Hey, okay. We're good. So instead of going after Kronos, we go search for Lucy instead. Is that beans? That's not beans. Never mind. I thought, I thought that was like a texture of like just beans <laughs> over there. <laughs> Back home. Lucy home movie. Some beans. By Neil Knopf. Video instructions. Move, Wasad, left bumper, left bumper, left mouse button, or... <laughs> Space to advance, dialogue, E to interact, okay. Alternative Quarantine by Roboxel. Smoke Shader by Yui Kinomoto. No rating. Oh wait, one more thing before I do that. Wait, no. Oh! Wait. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find that one. <laughs> the other dev we had in here. I said chair, right? Yeah, this one. God, we did. This is like the first branch we went down. I'm trying to remember what this was. <laughs> it's just, oh yeah, no. Okay, that's just when he's like sitting in the room. Yeah, that was cool. Right. Okay. Yeah, sorry, the first chain I went down, I was like, I went this way, and that way, and then here, and I think this was the first ending we got? Yeah, it was this one. And then I've been, like, slowly branching back out and doing other branches. Um, anywho. Into back home. Catherine, can you hear me? I thought that was a smiley face looking at me in the lower right-hand corner. It's, like, I guess right here. <laughs> or, right here. My camera's reversed, sorry. <laughs> the portal work? Are you still home? It's my house, but it's different. Everything's wrong. Some Kyoto's popular for the first branch of a lot of people. I, uh... Yeah, I guess Wyoming's not the most, like, enticing thing <laughs> as far as the location goes. <laughs> I think I've... Partially, I've been, like, kind of choosing things that, like, I don't know, saving, like, the cooler option for last. Other than the first time I was just trying to go with what I felt was right story-wise, and I guess it was just a coin flip, flip for Wyoming versus, uh, wait a second. What the hell? <laughs> for Wyoming versus, uh, Kyoto. Because, I mean, it's hard to know, like, what, like, the retro wallpaper. Indeed. I don't want to, like... <laughs> Since space and time are linked, I guess Kronos has the power to mess with both. But if Lucy's here, I'll find her, no matter what. I don't want to pry too much, but I feel like, uh... Because I mentioned, like, you know, each dev only got, like, context of the previous game. And maybe it's just because I'm jumping around so much, I am, like, not realizing what the previous game was in a lot of these situations, but 
<laughs> nice. It's like the Aqua Teen Hunger Force closet that's full of like TVs. <laughs> uh but like this layout, I guess the I, there are different details, but the general like floor plan layout seems the same across several different games that seem seemingly are like pretty unlinked, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Tiny bed. Oh my god, it's a maze. It's not a maze. No mazes yet. <laughs> I love this. You, know, you just have a couple assets and you just mess with like the scale or like just the positioning of stuff like chef's kiss uh, i half expected the room to be different when i came back it's put oh i see okay y'all get to play the very first game so that framework is all there in all of them that makes so much more sense <laughs> thanks <laughs> Double couch. Oh, and the entire branch leading up to yours. Like, by default, everyone would have played the first one. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I completely misunderstood the, like, the premise on the website. It's a really fun way to do the game like this. Yeah, no, this is fucking fantastic. I I, went, I, I said earlier, like, I, I like the first chain a lot as well, but in, like, a very different way. Um, this one feels a lot more stitched together, obviously, because, like, the core of it is very much, like, connective tissue to the other games, so. Very well executed. Not that I expected anything less, honestly, for what it's worth. As if it wasn't bad enough already. Our house doesn't even have an attic or a basement. Oh, I gotta choose attic or basement? <laughs> well, gotta go in the basement. All right. Oros by Vapor Shark. I like that name. <laughs> it was a maze. Hey, another Godot game. Sorry, I'm obsessed with. Oh no, it's running. Okay, no, we're, we're probably good. I keep pointing that out because I, <laughs> I was messing with Godot on a stream like a couple, well, I guess twice last month. But Unity is my bread and butter. Butter, yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, current day. I'm trying to learn Godot. Hope they're almost called Orob. <laughs> Could be. You were clever to come down here in this basement beneath Tai. Outsmarted you cat. Made a deal with Ouroboros to get Lucy out of that horrible place. You both will be safe here forever, with some constraints. Nothing else exists now. Time, the temporal chain of procedural cruelty, has closed. Munch, munch, munch. You'll find her further down. Goodbye, Catherine. By the way, uh, if any game's, like, too quiet or too loud, let me know. Uh, obviously, being, like, 40 different dev teams, <laughs> uh, intentionally not shown <laughs> part of the work to each other, uh, sound balancing's kind of all over the place, because they're separate games. I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but, like, I totally may just be unaware. <laughs> Our daughter's a television now. Mom! She's got bad Jake-peg compression. Oh no, we gotta save her. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess to the attic then. <laughs> This one's called Lucy. That cover reminds me of Lisa. By sight. Uh, okay. What's on? Wait. Flashing lights, distressing sounds, gore. More to be added. Ooh. Intriguing. I recognize this logo, but I don't know what it is. Is this another, is this, this might be like an older or newer version of RPG Maker? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Er, mom. Damn, you got me. <laughs> you open the attic door. It's an empty attic with an old rotary phone on the floor. The phone begins to ring. You should pick up the phone. 
unknown caller do you pick up yes you pick up the phone hello Catherine. uh hello who's this you know who i am where pardon me where are you where's lucy don't worry about her you should be more worried about what's coming next you see i have a little game planned for you and me just want my lucy back i want to play a silly game cooperate with me you can have her the phone line goes dead what am i gonna do it's kind of like mother i guess graphically <laughs> oh, uh... Hold on, Chad, I'm dumb. Oh, wait, what? That might not be intended. Appreciate that the application is called Chain 5. Well, you guys probably can't make that out on stream. Uh, did I break it? Did I forget some controls? Oh, there was a hint on the box that we were looking for the room. Okay, so there's... I'm smashing interact in every square that I can be in. Or at least I think I'm mashing interact. Thanks for the, the tip. <laughs> I guess I can also always like close it and uh reinspect. Oh okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, clicking also works for interacting. Oh there we go. Yeah, I must have moved too fast over it. <laughs> Four boards lifted. Uh you jump on it and it seems to have done something. You awaken in a forest, it seems odd. You've never been here before. Your mind begins to wander. I guess I could just keep clicking. I don't know why I'm using my keyboard at all. <laughs> Lucy, no. That must have been Lucy. Or is it? Lucy, get back here! You awaken in the- No, I need to follow- I need to follow her path. Damn it. I was afraid of that. You already know that's Lucy somehow. Oh no, she left that square, so I guess I just need to do that, probably. You wake in a... Uh... Oh my. Get the hate, it's fun watching you stream. Right on, thanks for popping in, it's been fun. And thanks for the game, thanks for contributing to this, because this is an awesome, another awesome, like, horror collection. Love this stuff. Have a good one. She refuses to talk to me, okay. Now it's a maze. <laughs> oh no, she's just an obstacle, okay. <laughs> Although, where she faces might be a hint as to where I can go. Or where I should go. Oh, so I can walk... Well, I can walk over some of this. Some of it I can't. I'm a little confused. I don't know how well this shows up on stream. Because there's like... There's a very faint path. That's what I'm using to click on. I'm afraid I'm more than a little lost right here. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, okay. That's probably a good thing. We gotta just keep doing that. She's still physically in my way, but that's okay. <laughs> I 
I guess there's an order to it, because I, I walked in front of one of the Lucys and it didn't do anything. Collect your Lucy. <laughs> now I'm, I'm obliterating her. Oh, shoot. Can't hide from me. Oh, wait. She can't hide from me. Never mind. Lucy. Mom. Ah. <laughs> it's like a Spongebob episode. <laughs> Go on. Get grabbed, idiot. <laughs> I think we're waiting at this point. Oh, yeah, heartbeat's fading. Did they release this on 6-6 intentionally? <laughs> I just real that just clicked with me. Ha 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 Alright. Oh. Mommy? Probably haven't adjusted. Uh, fully adjusted, but you know that voice. Lucy! You're alive! You hug Lucy. Question marks? I thought... Hope so. Thought you were gone. Just tell me what happened when I was sleeping. Mommy, while you were sleeping, I found my old toys. That's great, honey. They're in my room. I'll go get them for you. Oh, that'll be lovely. You sighed to yourself. What in the world was that? So the dream? Couldn't have been real. The phone starts to ring. Where is that stupid phone? Hello, Catherine. Not you again. Stay away from my daughter, you sick freak. Catherine, it's your neighbor. We've known each other for weeks now. Uh, I... I have to go now. Lucy's crying. Oh, all right, for dinner she... What the fuck? <laughs> you hang up on her. <laughs> Guess everything's back to normal. Hey, Lucy, you want to go to the park for a picnic? Yes. I will race you to the park. Hey, wait up. Oh, no. Okay, that's... <laughs> happily ever after. Okay. So that's why there's, like, extra space here. There's this secret ending once we get through all the other stuff. I guess I could go there now. However... However, let's go fill out the rest of this tree. Uh, so let's let the Antichrist, uh... Oh, and it was at 6 p.m. GMT. Ah, that's why. Thank you, Coulter. <laughs> I was like, for, for me it was 2 p.m., so like, huh, it doesn't really track, but yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Vessel. By Shad. Left mouse button to advance dialogue and attack. It's just red. Nice. Oh, warning flashing lights. RPG Maker. Cat? Cat? No! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, that's my cursor. I thought I... <laughs> Don't worry about what I thought, chat. Mwahaha! <laughs> you foolish human. You're now my vessel. Huh? Huh? Where's my daughter? You fell right in my trap, you imbecile. Your daughter is long gone. Really thought I'd have a chance. Come on, vessel. Cheer up. You can see the destruction of your world in first person. I don't really want to see that. Literally. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> we will now go to 1982 Paris. My friends are waiting there. Your friends? Of course, my soon-to-be co-rulers of the world. A new era will begin. Ruling of evil. evil guh. You're out of your mind. What'd you expect, cat? I'm literally the Antichrist. Mwahaha. let us go Ah, beautiful. You're sick. Okay, so, uh, the meeting's at 12 Rue de Gullet. We need to walk a bit. Do your job, vessel. What if I don't want to? Ah! Merlin, the wizard. Stop right there, evil fiend. What is it? Who's this guy? Be gone! Merlin emerged. Click repeatedly to win. Haha, your magic is useless. I think our TP's going up. 
Gonna need that for all the skills that we have. Body Cat's party was <laughs> victorious. Oh no, is he dead? Yep. What did you make me do? I think the sorcerers are trying to stop us. Time sorcerers? We need to be quick. Oh, I'm not really okay with this. Well, too late to go back now. Get going, vessel. Queen of Sheba. Die, foul demon. Kill, kill. I don't want... No effect. Nice try. No! I missed! Go, go, go! We don't have time for all this bullshit! Wait! <laughs> Here we are! Now we just need to enter the door. Hold on a second. Cat, are you there? That voice! Kronos? Ah, uh, what is it now? Kronos, why do you look like that? Well, traveling through space and time too much makes you older. But I'm not that old. There, whatever. Just me coming here is extremely dangerous for the space time continuum, but there have been enough paradoxes already. If I don't kill the Antichrist, it will only get worse. The only way to do that. Well, I'm sorry, Cat. Kronos? Huzzah! Kronos emerged. You see, Cat? I fucking know. -er. I clicked slightly off screen by accident. <laughs> Hold on, I think I can save this. Alright, we're good. Presumably. There we go. Whatever gets in their way, they kill it. So end him. He didn't even pay back for your favor. He never planned to. Wait, cat. Nope, too late. Catherine's pretty cool, indeed. Oh, our name changed to just Vessel. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it was like Body Cat earlier, right? Yeah, I like that. Kronos, no time for mourning your victim. We got a meeting to attend. Alright then, what's up guys? The squad. Finally! Rangda. You're here. Elwerk. Hey ya. Hi guys. Are you excited or what? We're doing this. Yeah. It took so long we were starting to think of doing it without you. Oh come on guys. We made a pact. Yes we made a pact for the Antichrist. Only the most powerful demon on Earth. Come on, Rangda. I'm not gonna betray you. Hey guys, chill. We're finally doing this, so now we have to cooperate. Me and the boys. That's right, Elric. Well said. But AC, the thing is, while we were talking while you got got here and realized we had different ideas about our procedure, huh? He thinks it's best to go with the creation of Earth and change it to our advantage. Can you believe it? Well, what's the problem? He's being too tame is the problem. If we're gonna do this, I say we do things right. So we go to their ancestors and slash blood guts prehistory, dude. Now why would we do that? That's too much work, Rangda. You're a demon, right? Don't you like killing? Besides, going back in time to destroy a meteor full of water particles doesn't sound very easy to me. Okay, I see the problem, right? So you see, we thought we'd let you choose. You're the ruler of evil, after all. Good decision. Now let's see. Let's go prehistoric, baby. Baby. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Distant Static by Terry Cavanaugh. Uh, just left mouse button to move. Many sounds are from freesound.org. See the game folder for a complete list. Writing, flashing lights. I hope my voice holds out for the rest of this game. Alright, boys, we're here. It is us and the boys. <laughs> 
Time to destroy humanity's ancestors. Dude, I knew you'd make the right call. Let's go cause some carnage. Feeling okay, AC? How's your vessel? Mwaha. I wouldn't worry about her. Her mind is starting to decay. She doesn't have much time left. Yay, more static. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my bit rate. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, wait, was I watching this? Where am I? It's a maze. That's not a maze. It's one of those haunted spirits from Kyoto. I feel so much anger from it. Maybe I should just sneak past. Excuse me? <laughs> Everyone awake? <laughs> Oh, it's not here now. No, it is still here. But... Okay, I don't know why that happened the first time, but whatever. It's like, uh... Where am I? Antichrist was controlling me, I think? Oh no, what did I do? It's like Spooky's Jump House of... Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Or th thousand... Fl whatever the fuck that game's called. <laughs> this hourglass is ringing. Catherine, is that you? Kronos? I thought you were dead. Oh no, Catherine, you didn't kill me in this branch you're in, did you? I'm sorry, the Antichrist made me do it. This is bad, this is very bad. The Antichrist is taking over your body. It's only a matter of time before your mind fades away. Oh, so now what do we do? I'm sorry, Catherine, it might already be too late. The hour Take the hourglass with you, I'll get you... I'll get back to you if I think of anything. This is dope. I like what's happening story-wise here. I just thought of something. Do you remember the haunted spirits from Kyoto? Yeah, uh, I remember. They're attracted to life energy. Hold your breath if you get close, that way they won't detect you. I started holding my breath too early and I'm probably freaking dead now. Oh, we're good. <laughs> this one, though. God damn it, Kronos. Hey, it's me again. I have a plan. Where are you now? I think this is the apartment. The one where Luce and I were staying when it happened. That's good. Your mind is still trying to grab hold of reality. Listen, I'm dead in this branch. So there's only so much I can do. Should have enough power for one last trick. What are you going to do? I need you to find three treasures and bring them to me. You'll know them when you see them. Good luck. It's Lucy's favorite album. We came here from... with almost nothing. I don't even think we brought a record player. This is what I'm looking for, isn't it? Treasure found. Lucy's album. Favorite show? Watching this makes me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Blech. This is the back exit. It leads to Kronos' video store. Need to find three treasures before I go. Oh, this book! This book. This is my favorite from when I was, this is my favorite book as a teenager. It's going to give it to Lucy to read now that she's old enough. To be honest, I was a little nervous she wouldn't like it. That's two. One treasure left. Apartment question mark? No. They have warped time and space around me. I think I made a little fucky wucky here. Going for it though. The real apartment. Something I need in there. Nonsense. My most prized treasures are in my bathroom. <laughs> Mother's Day card. Was this a Mother's Day card? Looks like Lucy was making it for me. There's little drawings of us on the front and crayon. That makes three. Time to go. This was a bad place to start holding my breath. Hold on, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> this 
Is the back exit at least the Chronos Village store? I have three children, time to go. This is a cool one. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Catherine, good to see you again. Hey, I brought the treasures you asked for. Thanks, hand them over, I'll get started. This is album, Catherine's book, Mother's Day card. It's time for me to finally repay you that favor. But you have one final choice to make, Catherine. A choice. In your mind, these items hold great power. Your first option. You can use them to break your mind free from the Antichrist. You'd be back in control. Maybe you could stop him. What's the other option? You use the same power to send your mind back through time. You can wake up in your old body sometime before all this started in a new branch of history. Second chance to save Lucy, or some version of her at least. But back there, in this branch, the Antichrist will have won. He'll be unstoppable. So basically, save Lucy or save the world. Choose quickly, you don't have much time left. Let's save the world. Oh, that looks cool as hell. Blue Light by Jean, or Jan, maybe? Uh, Hayek, or Hajek? I apologize for butchering your name as I have surely done. Little evil Lucy. Nice. Okay, so let's just move around and interact type game. Cool. Prehistory. I'm so sorry, Lucy. This is the right thing to do. Looks like your body has been affected by the Antichrist. Kronos. Don't worry. I don't exist in this timeline anymore. You're the only one that can see or hear me. Are we still in prehistory? Looks so. My lord. I think we can start the last ritual. Are you sure? I think we can, uh, we can kill a couple more humans before that. I don't think that's necessary. We can start the ritual now. Come on, Elric, don't be such a grouch. Can I at least fill the whole earth with eternal fire before the ritual? That would be very inconvenient for our plan. What do you mean inconvenient? Look, what good is it... Or er, wait. Look, what good is it to have the whole earth if there's nothing left to torture or destroy? Nah, you're just scared to kill more humans. Whatever. <laughs> what do you think, my lord? Should we start the ritual? We should start the ritual immediately, but first... I command you to tell me the purpose of the last ritual, just to make sure you were paying attention. Nice impression. Of course, my lord. The last ritual will take... Uh, will make us the most powerful beings in the whole universe. What's wrong, Alwark? Do you have any problems with the ritual? Of course not, my lord. Let's go, Rengda. We need to prepare the candles. Cat, we need to f find out more about this ritual. There must be a way to fix everything and save the world. Look, it's an enchantment book. Do I, uh, oh, right, I can move. Look, this page explains the whole ritual. To start the ritual, we'll need to put one red candle in each point of the pentagram. After that, someone has to wait inside the pentagram for five minutes. Sounds way too simple for such a powerful effect. Wait, Kronos, look, there's a very similar ritual. This one, instead of making every demon powerful, it makes them disappear from our timeline. Uh, present, past, and future. No demon will ever exist on any point of history. My lord? What's wrong, Rangda? The candles are gone. Some random human probably stole them. I knew it. Uh, we had to kill more of them before the ritual. Don't worry, Rangda. I'll take them back. Collect candles. Ma'am, you can trust me. I know I look like Satan. Hello, my young lady. May I introduce myself? My name is Sky, and I'm here to help you. To help me? That's right. It's being... It's, uh, it's being a really short time since I gained intelligence. Not sure how that happened, but I understand my purpose now. 
What purpose is that, if, if I may ask? The first thing I've ever listened. It was a very strange voice that told me to give these blue candles to the first person that comes to me. Do you remember who told you that? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. Now go. They're waiting for you. Hello? Who was that? It's Octopus Man. Oh, <laughs> it's the Antichrist. <laughs> Catherine, do you really think it's that easy to defeat me? I don't need you anymore. As soon as my new body is formed, you and the rest of the human race will die. Goodbye, Catherine. You wasted your chance to become the strongest being alive. Oh, shit. Put them blue candles down. Oh. I thought this would have been mostly, like, narrative-driven. <laughs> oh. Given that there weren't any, like, controls to, like, attack or anything, but I was wrong. Ah, you fucking got me. Okay, at least it didn't, like, make me redo the whole thing. <laughs> Granted, it's just this, but, I mean, whatever. Ah, bullshit. Listen, it's just a circle moving on a circle. I can I can do this. Well, kind of, actually. Hold on. Not today, you son of a bitch. There we go. Kronos, I don't think I'll be able to survive five minutes in here. There's too many of them. Catherine. I'm sorry, Lucy. Looks like I did all this for nothing. Oh, shit. Elric? Selling my soul has been the worst mistake of my life. It was you, right? You changed the candles. Why? When I sold my soul. I didn't know I was going to end up destroying everyone. I only wanted fame and fortune. I was a fool. Elric. I needed to do something now or we're both going to die. Goodbye, Catherine. What are you doing, Elric? Just let her die. And we will have the whole world, just the two of us. Two of us? Does that mean Ragnar's no more with us? Don't worry about Ragda. Elric, don't do this. Elric, no. Cat, there's one minute left for the ritual to work. It's impossible for me to know what's going to happen after this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Blue. <laughs> Excuse me, I've never been here before. Does this is this video store open? In like ten minutes, I think. Are you here to rent the new movie? Yeah, I've been dying to watch Man Car Time since I watched the trailer. Uh I'm not too much a fan of those movies, but my daughter wanted to see it. That's why I'm here. I'm Catherine, by the way. I'm Elric, nice to meet you. Ah oh, snap, Elric's running the video store in that timeline. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back and save Lucy if I, if I can. There we go. If I could start again. Do not play. Alright, can't play this one. Sorry, guys. By Kevin Hutch... Hutchins. Sorry, I, my mouth is getting drier by the second. You know what? Let me, let me take a good old swig of water. <laughs> Alright, looks like we might have some tank controls or something. Q and need a turn. Flashing lights, by the way. Viewer beware. Kronos, wait! I'm back in my home. Was it all a dream? It was all a dream. Uh, I need to find out. I need to see Kronos. Oh, snap. One of these. Ah! <laughs> Lucy, honey. We're gonna run an errand. Isn't it early for that, Mom? I want to play some games. Good news, then. We're going to the video rental store to visit an old friend of mine. We'll pick you up a video game while we're there. Yay, I'll follow you, follow you to the car. Need the keys, don't I? Can't go out that way. They might be watching. They shouldn't have found us yet, but I don't want to take that risk. Taking the back door should be safer. I'll get a knife to defend myself. Not that that'll do much against the Antichrist min minions. I hope that was a dream. I hope that Kronos is safe. 
Nope, he's right here. Is this the first game with the menu? That was difficulty. Oh, it's only easy and normal. I just opened this person's website. I know it's the Rich IO page. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, Ultra FOV. No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I think it was at 80, right? That's dope, though. Kudos for tossing a uh, menu in here. I say itch.io. I don't know. Say whatever you want. It's impossible. This can't be here. It's a turn-based battle system with an emphasis on attack lengths and timing. Moves have three components to attacks. Attack, defense, and delay. Attack is the base damage done by a move once it's executed. Defense is how much damage uh, it will protect against while, while it's readied. Delay is how long a move will stay ready before it's executed. When it's your turn, you can select from the move list on the right-hand side. Lantern will use an 8-2-6 uh, move. By using a higher defense slash move, you can whittle them down while taking less damage yourself. Some people said it was Imager, but I will die on the Imger hill. How dare you? Wait, oh, this has a longer delay. No! Ah, oh, I took the full brunt of that. Okay. Damn, I got hit twice that time. <laughs> These lanterns be teaching me? First player acts will depend on who initiated the battle. Uh, the first player attacks will execute before the other one's in an event of a tie. Second player will be able to see the first player move during the initial pick. The first player to act has a token next to their name. In this case, you can see the lantern will uh, use the swing move when choosing your action. In this fight, the enemy will use a move with a high attack but a long delay. Switch between dealing damage with a high damage attack, threading a shield, and they execute, execute their next attack. Okay, so they have a, a 16 turn delay here. You can use the timeline to the left to visualize when the attacks take effect. Remember next to the blue bar indicates how much damage you will be protected against if the enemy attacks you before your next move. I feel like stab maybe. Like stab first. Can I go twice before he gets in there? He's also guarded against six damage, which is Okay, and now I guard. I think I can pull this off? Yeah. I am, like, losing this battle, though. <laughs> As it stands. Alright, we gotta kill him before he acts again. Oh, I can't. I lost. Shit. Yeah, we'll try it again on normal. I think the idea is we probably want to get them with like a... Um... Like, I could get them before... No, that's actually working way better. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and you're dead! 
I didn't understand how defense worked properly. Could this be Kronos' is doing? Moves can have modifiers. The Pierce modifier signifies the attack will ignore defense. And you do 20 damage. What the fuck? Moves with Pierce ha tend to have long delays, delays and little defense. So good strategy to do as much damage as possible. Okay, so now, now I want to do the fast stabby stab. Aha! We made it to the car. Here's the car. I can't shake the feel of, feeling of profound despair. It's a neat game. Honey, I'm gonna check on my friend. You wait in the car. Can I come in? No, it'd be dangerous. Stay in the car no matter what. And Lucy, I love you. Love you too, Mom. Is that an alligator head man? Get out of my way. It is. <laughs> so we could sacrifice yourself to my master. I won't let you waste his time. I stand no chance of winning, but I have to try for Lucy. What do you mean I have no chance of winning? So, if I do this, I'm going to get tail whipped. And I'll take two damage. But I'll have less delay. Oh, shit. Okay, so maybe I should... Oh, what is he doing? No, now he's doing chomp. Okay, so... 10 damage. Oh, what if I just guard? Dink. Piercing Fang. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Damn it. Stab him. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Man, his defense already got, like, up. That was bullshit. No! Piercing Fang strikes again. We're gonna get fucking killed here, I'm pretty sure. He's doing Chomp again, so we can get a stab in. I don't think I'm gonna win this. <laughs> God, fucking stop spamming Piercing Fang, you fuck. Yeah, we're dead. Doesn't matter. Okay. Tail Whip. Definitely wanna do a Slash. He's gonna try to do two of those. Oh, he didn't do two of them for once. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like probably not worth. Man, that sucks. <laughs> it sucks. He did. Oh, come on. You're gonna spam two of those in a row, you bitch. Fuck. We had him closer this time. Do two tail whips like he did the first time. No, stop fu Dude, if he just spams the piercing attack, I can't- I, like, can't fucking do anything at all. <laughs> this is dumb. How did I do that? Could be the anti- could be- could being the Antichrist vessel have granted me some sort of his power- some amount of his power? Is that a bear? That's a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. See you later. This side's locked, of course. Really? You're gonna try to slip past me? How stupid do you think I am? So you did my friend over there. I'm afraid I can't let you pass. I have to get through. Uh, that looks like we're at an impasse. Oh shit, I have to move first this time. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Stop biting me, please. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Bear down. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> wait. No, yeah, I can't do math. Oh wait, yeah, that's four damage, I'm fine. I mean, I'm not fine, but I'm- uh, I can survive that. And now we kill him! Yeah! I get fucked! <laughs> no one blocks my way. Not anymore. Here it is, the moment of truth. Damn. <laughs> Damn. What is it? 
Is it fucking Freud on fire? Oh, it's the Antichrist. Expecting someone else? Friend Kronos isn't here. In fact, he doesn't seem to be anywhere. It's only a matter of time before his meddling took care of him for me. So that actually happened. Kind of you to come to the hand... To, uh, to hand Lucy over to me personally. You won't lay a finger on her. Who's gonna stop me, you? <laughs> nice, nice voice. Taste my blade, wretched scum. Is that fart sound effect? <laughs> a thousand cuts, two damage, okay. Alternatively... Wait. Why am I doing... F oh, that's five weight. Okay, yeah. I think I want to do this, because he won't be defended. Oh, no, he is now. Damn it. You piece of shit. <laughs> Arcane Assault. Uh, how the fuck am I going to beat him? <laughs> I guess with a lot of blocking... Oh boy, one damage. Damn it, stop piercing me. Ah, you bitch. Okay, that's that's what we have to do. It's just I gotta start over where I don't get hit by that <laughs> ever. Oh, well, that's it. literally an instant kill. Cool. <laughs> so wait, but if I do slashes, maybe, or stabs, I mean, because they're faster, I can probably kill him before he gets this off? Oh shit, I can. I think. Well, this is just smarter to do in any way, but... Idiot, using your long-ass tech. Where'd you get such power? No matter, I'm finished toying around with you. Ha 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 ha. I understood his last attack. I think I can use it. Fallen Star 99999. Well, that's cool. That's still gonna instantly kill me, though. What the fuck? Oh, this takes 99 turns, though. I mean, this takes 30. But I guess that works. Wait. I'm being fooled. No. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, wait, we'll kill him off that way. <laughs> it's really easy to calculate DPS, but I wasn't doing it until just, like, this fight, basically. Very well, Catherine, you've shown your power. I'll give you one last choice. No! No more choices! This time I'll make my own possibilities. The Antichrist lay in a crumpled heap in front of me. It was finally over. Picked up a video game that escaped the rampant fires. Wouldn't want to disappoint Lucy. No one stood in my way as I returned to the car. Worthlessly, I handed Lucy your game and started driving. I'll never stop feeling guilty about abandoning the other timeline, but having my Lucy by my side wouldn't change it for the world. That's cool. It's a fun game. Uh, okay. So we've got four more things to do on this side, and then the final chain, which seems to have uh, five things, I think. Oh, wait, no. We've got three more games on this side. And this has one, two, three, seven games on that, that branch over there. Let's finish up this side first, though. Alright. New Earth. Let's create a New Earth instead. Genesis. By Coulter. Additional notes. Man. A lot of additional people. Uh, okay, left mouse button to charge and release. Okay. Strobing effects. Warning. Echo! Oh, Genesis, it's stickier than I remember. And of course, there's Mr. Sticky himself right here. Does your dad know what you're up to? This scheme's way out of line. Kronos, but you're calling in from another branch? Yes, I'm heading your way now. Listen, AC is gunning for Lucy. Lucy stands for life, unfolding celestial yoke, the originator of life in the universe. You see, your daughter was a vessel herself. She, what did I just say about nagging? Stop that. If AC merged with Lucy, stop, no, bad. It's game over for this whole... La, 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 plug your ears, darling. Lucy? Will you butt out, Sticky? Charted a path. It's gonna be tricky. But, remember, darling, I do the choosing for both of us now. You made enough bad decisions. Wait, my daughter? Onward! Oh, shit. I'll navigate, but you keep your eyes peeled. 
Or what? You'll see. <laughs> Greater than colon. <laughs> Close friends. Immune system's activating. Bogey's inbound. More target practice for you, vessel. Fire at will. Missed. This is a fucking freaky art style. I love it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I hope it's not like a bit right nightmare. It might be. Oh well. From the home stretch, baby. Lucy can't run forever. Lucy's gone, isn't she? That's just a thing. You served your purpose, stepping stone to get here. And of course, you'll get. You're walking a grandmother paradox. Both mother and daughter, Lucy. You're both the key to everything. Exactly. You're a tool, the biggest tool in the universe. Now shut up and focus. The problem I have with this is like there's not really like a threat here. That's it, she's given up. I feel strange. Cat, listen. Cause and effect are breaking down. Your mistake can be undone. Split with the Antichrist. Kick his ass. We had an agreement, darling. Don't you worry about choosing anymore. I see it now. Well you fight for, it's your time to choose. Or it's time to choose. Save the timeline, save my daughter. Hey, it's the same story as the last branch over there. Alright, well, let's start by saving Lucy this time. That face. <laughs> oh no, it's a golfing game, maybe. The Golf War. <laughs> Lovely tape. By Fever Dream Johnny and uh, Simi Worms. Mouse, Putt. Warning, flashing lights. Also, a ton of models used. Hmm, I see how it is. So you've chosen your own daughter over the universe and taken both Kronos and Lucy's powers for yourself and turned into a ball? No matter, I'll swash with my true strength, the power of the United States government, the largest source of evil energy on Earth, probably. Now listen, don't you dare use Left Mouse to begin taking a shot, dragging the mouse to line it up, and releasing it with Left Mouse to launch yourself, and my delicate hands. And after I fall, and both of my hands are damaged, don't you dare smack my head a bunch with your orb. Also, Cat. If you're sensitive to flashing lights, press escape to leave right now. Alright, now that I told you this, let's start the battle. That's fucking cool, man. He imbues the power of Big Lincoln. That's fucking awesome. I clicked off the screen, though. Oops. The presidential fitness test? No! No, my ball! Oh, those are lives. I thought that was my, like, rating. I guess it kind of is in a way. No! Come on, man! I like that it makes the fucking Jetsons car sound. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Okay, we're on our last life. I've missed what he invoked the power of this time. Get him. The Lincoln Scourge. I'm dead. Damn it, I'm gonna I missed my damage window, that sucks. I got him once, I guess, but that's still fucking shitty. The orchestra. 
No, 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 What? I got another life. What? Oh, okay, you just, I just, my rating sucks. Gotcha. Harmonizer. Damn it, I'm hitting the eyes. Damn, fuck off. How much health do you have, you motherfucker? <laughs> How are you supposed to dodge some of these, man? Not again! The same fucking thing again. It's so chaotic! <laughs> it's like, how do you get any stars in this? Holy fuck, man. Oh, not this one again. Damn, how are you not dead? Ah, oh, damn it, I wanted to save it. This is fucking chaos. Leave it to Johnny. Of course. Fucking come on, stop getting attacks off after, right as I down you, you bastard. Especially ones that are like the most annoying fucking thing ever to dodge, you bitch. The terrible guitar man, what the hell? Die. There we go. That, that was terrible guitar man? I see now. <laughs> the fart. <laughs> Killed the Antichrist with her cool orb powers. No! <laughs> the Antichrist shouted like a little idiot baby. No, you can't just beat me with orb powers! You can't! All is fear and love and freaking war, dude, Cat replied coolly, like Neo from the Matrix. The Antichrist then proceeded to disappear into the void, never to be seen again. <laughs> Mom! Mama! Mommy! Mom! Mom! Lucy screeched like a bat out of hell. Oh my god, Lucy! Cat screamed in an orb like fashion. Thanks for saving me instead of the whole universe. Haha, ha, let's go get a burger! Lucy continued to shriek. That sounds great. Let's go and do that, Cat replied. He found that, it. Lucy plopped down on Cat's orb form, and the two rolled away in search of adventure or something. <laughs> we, fa we found the best ending. So here's how you did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Die. <laughs> that was fantastic. I don't know my favorite game overall in this, but, uh, my god, that ending is fair. That's great. Love that. <laughs> Alright, let's save the timeline. Lucy Space. Robo Slop 2. Lucy Space. Dead or alive, you're 1C. <laughs> By Z Bill. Wasad and Mouse. Another flashing lights game. I feel like all these had flashing light warnings. <laughs> Phil for window. Wait, oh, F11 for windowed. Push. I push you. Mother? What wrong? Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> the cat is our daughter now. I see. Well. Oh, okay. I was like, I hope I don't need to chase that, because that's a long way away. Whoa! Oh, I don't need to move. Or do I need to move? How do I move? Oh. Bitch. Oh, I can move now. Uh, yeah. I fucking died, Rangda. I didn't die, actually. <laughs> nice. Get him. He has been got. I'll uh, say, so usually there's like at least three of you. What? Ah! Wait, you don't do anything to me. Kind of. You kind of pushed me off. Get off of me. They don't stop. They don't stop. Get off of me. Oh, they stop when I do that. Okay. Ah. All right. Bring him on, Elric. 
Let's go, baby. No. It's got a butthole mouth. What the fuck? What is that? What? Okay, also, what? <laughs> How did I survive that? Damn it. That was the worst way to die there. <laughs> I almost did myself in there. Oh god. No! <laughs> okay, at least we're not the first Elric part, I guess. Fucking book it, baby! I don't know how to do that without the time being frozen, and getting it over there, or getting over there with the time frozen is tough as hell. Oh, maybe I freeze time in a way where the guy's face is within slashing distance? I can't believe I just missed that. Are we walking towards a giant onion? Giant space onion? Fucking jump! What is happening? <laughs> I, oh, thanks, I guess. Probably still dead, though. Thank you, generous platforming. It's a wizard on the onion planet. Wizard, help me. Fucking work. Clever that you found that sword. Yes, it's who you think it is. Where time is concerned, there's absolutely no killing me. With dark magics dispelled, Lucy has taken root through the throughout the universe. If ever evil finds flesh again, and binds itself in time to seed chaos, well, let's just say we've now a lady to help us. This meteor we stand on is the very one that I will strike... Wait, <laughs> strike Earth and create life. Notice how Lucy thrives. you got one thing remaining to do. That? Is that what I gotta do? Enter this matrix over here? I guess so. Fun little game, that's for sure. Oh, wow. They're going full Camelot on this, huh? That's the sword and the stone, I think. I think I just watch this, I don't click. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright. Well, chat. We finished all of the standard chains. Uh, we're gonna play the last last section here, which is a new chain that opened up when we got to the end of each side. Um, but before that, I'm taking a quick break, and then we'll wrap this game up. Get more water as well, because I drank a lot of it. New chain, new chain, new chain. <laughs>
cold, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hoodie on. And probably proceed to take it off like... You know... <laughs> five minutes after putting it on, as I do. This has been fun, man. A lot of bangers. Okay, don't be alarmed at how big my drink is. It is... I haven't put anything else in it yet. This is almost all sparkling water. You know what? For the sake of it, oh, I can't even fast forward. I said I'll just play again, I guess, or whatever. But yeah, so tape one. Ooh, it's like faded now too. Uh, I don't remember who. Oh, Ghost. It's called Ghost now or something. There's a jump button as well now. I think this was the original people that made the first one, but I can't can't remember at this point. So if it wasn't, this is Ghost slash Tape One by neither Nathan and Maya Vico Soft. Nice, it skips us right here. Hey, dude. What you up to over there? Who are you? Strange man. <laughs> Why do you have a pip boy? Hey, it's you. You're right on time. What? Listen, you're in danger. You need to come with me now. Wait, who are you? How do you know Kronos? I don't have that much time to explain. And you might not believe me. Either way. But I'm gonna try it either way. Catherine, my name is Lucio. And I'm your son. What? I told you you wouldn't believe me. Yeah, but... What you said is impossible. I only have a daughter. Yeah, and I'm her, from another dimension. The game says trans rights. Sorry, but this sounds impossible to me. Come on. <clears throat> you were going to ask Kronos, Kronos to take you to the past. How much more impossible do parallel dimensions sound to you? How'd you know I was going to talk to Kronos? Cat, Mom, I know everything about you. I know why you're here. How? How do you know this? I'm preparing to meet you for a long time. This is my ultimate attempt to save the macroverse. There's a huge threat swallowing the whole that is swallowing whole timelines. I need you. I need your help. Why? Why me? Because most of the timelines pass through this moment. You lose Lucy, you come here to try to get her back. Doesn't matter how, uh, how their respective universes start or end. Is that Apocalypse Now over there? I know a lot of these are like movie posters that are just it was Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I guess. Except it just says Leisure Rules. Maybe it's not supposed to be Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And that Pink Floyd album, maybe? Or maybe it's something else, I don't know. <laughs> All those versions of you in the same, are the same in this exact point in time. And that's why I need you to know. That's why I need you now. Because <laughs> after you talk to Kronos, the branching starts in the timelines. Oh yeah, I saw Evil Dead the first time around. <laughs> What about Lucy and the Antichrist? Stakes have changed. They are nothing compared to the bigger picture. I know it hurts. I'm your son. But the threat that puts us in danger is bigger than all that. <laughs> After you help me, uh, if we thrive, you can even get Lucy back. Sorry, Lucio. I don't believe in... I don't believe in you. What do I need for you to believe me? Tell me something no one else knows. My maiden name. Catherine Blanche. But you, 
but you don't like this name because of your father, because of everything that happened, because of everything that name implies. You, you are really my son. I told you. Okay, I'm coming with you. All right, come on then. What? What's up with his like fucking outfit? <laughs> Wait. Don't you think Kronos would be able to help us? No, Mom. He wouldn't. <sighs> Missed the bus to his uh, wrestling show? I suppose. Where we're going, we don't need time. <laughs> God damn it. Nice portal there. Bet that ruins my bit rate. I'm going in the man car time poster. Ah, oh, the chains, the changes. No, okay. It's just a cutscene. <laughs> Sunk costs. Uh, hello? Here we go. Don't quit, cat. You're almost done. By Devlog98. Distressing sounds and gore. You know, there's been... Not, not that I'm complaining one way or the other, but... There's been very few gore warnings across all of these. <laughs> like maybe like four tops? What is this place? Well, how can I explain it? It's where fates are stored, like pickles in a jar. Uh, a place free of constraints from time and space, belonging to to all and no universe at the same time. Hmm, it does look a bit constrained. All those chains around. All those chains are fates. Pretty weird, huh? So, Lucio, what are we doing here? Oh, sorry, I need you to find an artifact, a very powerful one. After that, I guess we're halfway done saving the macroverse. Lucy, right? Sure, Lucy too. <laughs> Didn't sound very convincing. Okay, if this is what it takes, what does this artifact look like? It's the only thing emanating cosmic red energy. You won't miss it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You joining me, or are you just like... He's just chilling. Alright, whatever, dude. The sensitivity is insanely high on this. <laughs> you know, that one game had menus. Uh, more of them might, but I'm afraid to press escape on any of these because I feel like I could just close the game for like any of them. <laughs> no warning or prompt or anything. Huh. Well, that poses a bit of a problem now, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I gotta jump down onto that one. Hope I do this right. Here we go. It's like fucking the Dragon Ball, like, afterlife realm. Just one, like, narrow, long little platform that you can fall off easily. <laughs> Platforming horror game? Now that is a cool idea. Should play some haunted demo discs. <laughs> There's a shit ton of them in those. Hey, it's our symbol. Nito. This must be... This must be it. An anchor? Couldn't it be something a little easier to carry around? Let me get back to Lucio. I knew you would find the anchor of fates for me. What? Who are you? The Antichrist? No. He is as much your enemy as he is mine. Really? So maybe... Tell me who you are and maybe I won't try this damn anchor on you. <laughs> so we could to fight as ever. I have seen some universal constants, but you always manage to impress me. I will answer who I am, but first I will show you the truth you ought to know.
televisions. Welcome to the holy halls of gods. Of God. You are God? I've used the title God on countless timelines, though this time I will not deceive you any longer. I am Themis, the corruption of Gaia. Themis? Like that cat Kronos has? Yes. That disguise is a mere god of order that is one of my proudest achievements. Wait, so you were spying on Kronos? If you're not with the Antichrist and you're not with Kronos, which side are you on? I am on your side, Catherine. Oh, is that so? Then why don't you help me save Lucy? You seem pretty capable of helping me out. I already have. What? I'll present you the truth. Hey, I remember that one. <laughs> what is this? What are you showing me? This is the end of your existence. You pressed this button and all instances of you disappeared. Okay, so it wasn't getting to both sides. You had to get to that ending and then this appears. <laughs> Not only in your current timeline, but in all timelines, from all universes. Why did I do it? Was I tricked? No. You wanted to save your daughter, as always. Lucy. Your desire to protect Lucy was a universal constant. You never chose otherwise. Well, the two of you were also fated to be apart. Your failure in protecting Lucy was also a universal constant. This is why you pressed this button. Your end could change fate and allow Lucy to live on in a new universe. Did it work? Is Lucy alive on this other universe? Yes, I cannot deny the results. I just want Lucy to be happy. I don't care if it costs my life with her. I know, but still, you could not change your fate unless someone told it to you. What do you mean? Kronos and the Antichrist also desire to change their fate. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I... <laughs> the way that image is presented in this, this game here, it makes it look like that's the Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> Like some bit he's doing. That is all. Uh, the forces of order and chaos destined to fight throughout eternity, and yet, tired from all the battle, they believed the removal of a universal constant could change their own fates. They attempted to end you on countless or on uncountable timelines. They always failed. The only time they succeeded was in their endeavor was when they outright asked you to do it. Hmm. Okay, they had their own selfish reasons, but in the end, it was my choice, right? You're protecting Lucy was a universal constant. Do you really have any other choice there? Uh, order and chaos can keep fighting like petulant children, but they should never temper with the force of Gaia. Gaia? Gaia flows through humanity itself. It is the energy of life. The free will you all have. So we could have feasibly not seen this ending and gotten here. But whatever. Those two have always meddled with human affairs, but they went too far this time. When you press that button, a new universe is born in the future. But all corruption of Gaia, all interference on free will, created a new being on the past. I... I must fix the transgressions of Kronos and the Antichrist. I will bring justice to Gaia and fulfill my fate. I cannot let you sacrifice yourself for Lucy. I need you to choose not to press the button. And throw Lucy's future away? What the? What is this? Yes, you and you and Lucy. You are Lucy, together at last. But as you said, we're meant to be apart. It is true, or at least it was true. I interfered with the timelines on multiple occasions and desperately tried to fix the corruption. This caused different outcomes from the usual. Finally, there are timelines where you and your daughter stay together and happy. If you help me accomplish my fate, I can help you earn your greatest wish. I don't trust you. I understand, but there is only one solution. When you are ready, you must step to the end of the hall. I will tell you... Or, I will tell you there what I need you to do. In the meantime, if you still doubt the truth, I've gathered everything you need to know on these displays. That's pretty neat. I... This is the beginning of your end. It happened recently on your perception. The Antichrist wreaks havoc on Earth. Your daughter Lucy is kidnapped. Lucy. You asked Kronos to return the favor he owed you. I tried to alter the past to avoid this moment, but I might have sealed uh, its place on the chains of fate. You stopped me from killing Kronos, and now you can bargain his help. You were that guy that tried to kill him? We were always offered the same two choices to stop the Antichrist Conjuration, Wyoming or Kyoto. 
Timeline then branches further into the future. Hold on. I'm not going to watch all of these, but I want to know... Which one's Kyoto? In this timeline, the Antichrist is named Damien. He and Kronos are aware of my existence. Damien killed Lucy in order to foil my plans. Thought it was purely temp... Thought it was a purely temporary... Though it was a purely temporary setback. Change this picture. I can't look at it. I apologize. What do you mean, foil your plans? What are you going to do with Lucy? On that timeline, I would never be strong enough to defeat Damien nor Kronos. But I could hinder their progress. Use my influence on a human who worshipped me. Isaiah. Isaiah summoned me in the exact place where Kronos entrapped you. And I gave you enough power to kill them for at least uh, until the next timeline. Soon you had an opportunity to test this power. What are you going to do with Lucy? I will soon tell you. Well, shit. That's the wrong side. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I can suss this out properly, but... Um, here? Oh, it's the Star Fox one. <laughs> That's probably my favorite, like, gameplay-wise. There's no turning back. Kronos began the destruction of the timeline to stop our progress. We did not fall for the trappings of corruption. It was time to kill him. From this event onward, only two possibilities emerge. You ignore my advices and end up dooming your own daughter to live alone in a timeless universe, or you choose my path. Use the artifact of time to become the new god of time and save Lucy forever. I became the god of time? Could have taken this power... It would have been easier than helping you. Though I felt you deserved your daughter. You're saying there's a universe out there where I can have Lucy and I'm a god? Yes, multiple variants which end in a similar matter. As a god of time, you could use your powers to live with Lucy forever. It, it can't be true. You may now understand the value of my proposal. Uh, okay, so it doesn't do the like the absolute like leaf branches. I just want to go nowhere. What's up with that? Did I miss one? Did I actually miss a thing? Shit. <laughs> Let me try to understand what's going on. There's an, ener an energy inside all of us named Gaia, right? Yes. Force of life itself. And you are Gaia from another universe? <clears throat> of being made of Gaia, just like you are. Though you will be able to enjoy your free will, while I have an explicit purpose to be. I am not Gaia itself. Gaia is an energy that rarely has a physical manifestation. Unlike the Antichrist and Kronos, the vessels uh, for the forces of chaos and order, respectively. Okay, and you want me to help you fix a problem they caused? Yes. You may see how this corruption of Gaia affected your past throughout the ages. Uh... You just need to check on the displays I organize in this very room. There's no rush. You can walk towards the end of the hall whenever you feel ready. Oh, okay, cat, what have you got yourself into? I'm still kind of confused. Okay, which one's this? I'm going to go double check afterwards. I risked my fate revealing the true intentions of Kronos, yet you did not listen. Uh, you went home believing Lucy would be there and the Antichrist was no more. Fell on his trap. Kronos transformed your previous home to a distorted maze. This can't be true. I know Kronos. He's not evil. Choose. You choose again. Up the stairs, down the stairs. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> so, this was the ending where we go down the stairs and the cat's like in the basement or whatever and our daughter's there. So, why is the monitor not there for that? We definitely did that one. Wait, no, this is that one. Did we not go up in the attic? You went downstairs towards the basement. Kronos wanted to restore his status quo with the Antichrist, so he began the destruction of the timeline. Uh, to restore the state of all beings to their inception, all memories would be gone. Although I did not find the solution for the corruption, I learned facts I could not forget. Using all my energy, I invoked Ouroboros, an entity who links timeline endings with timeline beginnings. Uh, it would help me travel this new timeline and figure out who I was. However, I would need to trick Kronos again into believing I was the god of order. I had to hide my true nature as a being of Gaia. What's this? You're eating Kronos? I attacked and retrieved the force of order which resided within him, burying my Gaia core. It's disgusting. 
A token of gratitude for killing the Antichrist. I asked Ouroboros to also save you and Lucy from there. Uh, I can only take you to a timeline long forgotten where time itself was in stasis. Think it broke on you? Maybe, but it's weird. I, I, maybe I didn't go up the attic. I forget which one's which at this point. Are there any other TVs missing in this hallway? <laughs> any loose wires? I'm not viewing all these, by the way. And unfortunately, so uh, I thought this would go all the way to the endings. Oh no, there's another. Oh, there's, wait, there's two more loose ones. What the fuck? Time Harrier. No, we definitely did both endings of Time Harrier. We definitely didn't do neither of them. Sit on the broken timeline. Oh, you know what it is? I don't know why there's wires there, but I get it now. Um, So, Time Harrier was like a shorter branch. And there was only like two... Like, the two that branch off from this are endings. Um... And it doesn't render the endings here, so like I guess maybe they just like copy and paste it or something. I don't know. So in the broken timeline, remain protecting the remains of your daughter. It would be ten years of persistence had time not been destroyed. Oh my god, I spent ten whole years fighting those time anomalies, beings lost in their original timelines, which try to invade neighbor universes. Demons, angels, ghosts. Without the order of Kronos, those time anomalies became very dangerous. Damien found you uh, while you fought the anomalies. He asked you to kill me while. Uh, claiming I robbed free will. As if I was the one to corrupt Gaia. Uh, but you could still betray him if you had gone, had the foresight to do what was right. Okay, just to double check, I want to make sure these don't, like, appear if I go check out all the chains in this thing. I'm doing it in reverse order. <laughs> you killed Kronos on this event. Excellent choice. Oh no. As the Hall's times collapsed without their master, uh, figments of reality resurfaced as harrowing uh, simulacra. Did not think you could survive on this precious timeline. And still, and still, you were being torn between escaping and protecting your daughter's soul. Any lesser being would not think twice to run away. Yeah, that's 100% what's going on, is, like, that's that's a path that just ended there. Oh, yeah. You read this one already? Yeah, so it just, it doesn't render leaf nodes, and I guess they just made it, like, so this one's not as deep as the other trees and the branching paths. And then that one over there, I think, also ended, like, one branch early or something. Anyway, I'm not reading all of these, but, you know, that was, a, that was a good amount of them, I guess. Kronos. Kronos? No, it's merely a view from a single point of time where he awaits your arrival. Hmm. And what am I going to do there? He will ask his help and go back in time to stop the conjuration of the Antichrist. Save Lucy. Or to save Lucy. Precisely. After all those branches, all those interventions... This very moment remains unchanged. This event is a universal constant as you are, though from a different nature than yours. All possibilities from the past converge onto this occurrence. And from this occurrence, all possibilities branch out into the future. The whole universe bends its will uh, for this universal constant to happen. If anything were to change on this single event, all times on timelines would adapt themselves to it. I'm certain it is the only solution. Uh, Catherine, you must kill Kronos in this moment in time. Wait, what? No way. First of all, Kronos is my friend. He fights you on most timelines. I don't believe you. Besides that, he's a god. You can't just kill him. It is true that the force of the Order would try to heal itself. Uh, Kronos would be reborn in a new timeline. But what if you cause irreparable damage to it? Oh no. So this is what the anchor is for? To kill? Not kill, end. The anchor of faints could sink any f uh, fate in the sea of nothingness. Its metal was used. Its metal was the raw material the Antichrist used when creating the button to end you. You kill Kronos with the anchor of fates, and he ceases to be on all timelines, on all universes. 
And with this, the new universal constant is in place. He can never give you the choice that corrupts Gaia. But he's my only hope to save Lucy. I will give you Lucy if you do my bidding. Why don't you do it then? Aren't you that cat on his lap? Why does it have to be me? I'm a vastly superior being. I'm vastly superior than any human being. However, I'm still made out of Gaia. I cannot touch the artifact from a be for I am a being of free will. The anchor is an imposition of destiny. Why can I touch it? When you press that button, your fate sink. Even though we are in the past, you already have no future. You are unbound. I understand I asked too much. Justice must be achieved by any means. Save Gaia, save Lucy, save yourself. Catherine, this is the only choice. But then they gave me a choice, baby. What? Lucio? Mom, I don't know what Mr. Glaucoma over there told you, but I don't trust him. I'm sure it's bullshit. I told her the truth. The whole truth. Oh, yeah? Did you tell her you sucked human souls from innocent people? I needed their Gaia energy. I had to be strong enough to fix the corruption. Shut up. You just want to kill. Or you just want to kill Kronos and Damien. Take all their power for yourself. If that is what it takes. Mom, this anchor. It's the only thing that can kill him. Alright, I told you about the singularity point. The moment you can go talk to Kronos. If you kill him there, he's going to die forever. He's disgusted. He's disguised as Kronos' cat. Kronos's cat. So it's all true, said the talking television. What? I have no future. I'll never have Lucy. Mom, we need to save the Macroverse. Save the Macroverse or save yourself? Tell her the truth. What truth? He is not just a Lucy from another dimension. He is from the universe without Catherine. The universe born from the corruption. As I approach my fate, his universe slowly fades. Is that true, Lucio? You need to kill him. You're our only hope. I comprehend the will of Gaia and shall be honored. Catherine, maybe there is more than one choice after all. What? No, 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 no! There is no choice! You kill Kronos and live with the Lucy you know and love. No, Catherine! Or you kill me and sacrifice yourself for a Lucy you can never reach. Mom! It's time to choose. I'm, I'm killing. Well, well, well. Look who's back after all this time. How can I help you, Catherine? Wait. Something's wrong. Oh, my Catherine. Where'd you find this? Who gave you the Anchor of Fates? Sorry, cat. Or sorry, Demas. But also, before we go there, let's double double check here. Yeah, back home. Yeah, the attic was just a dead end. Although, actually, that's weird. I guess I just had something to say about this one. But yeah, that was the RPG with the Lucy's, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how those televisions could be explained. I guess I only wrote stuff for some of them. And then, yeah, the time harrier, as you can see, we did both. I already knew we did both of those. Or maybe it glitched. I don't know. Straight up. Anyway. Choices. By Infinite Noodle. Choose your path. Ooh. Suspense Doom by Brightest Avenue. We get to fire in this one. Good game. Uh-oh. Oh my Catherine. Who gave you the anchor of fate? An old friend of yours, Kronos. We had an interesting conversation. All those things I heard. I needed to save Lucy. I don't understand, Cat. I thought we were business partners. You're right, Kronos. No. Themis, I always knew something was wrong. Let's end this now. This fucking song. You two small rats think you can stop me? Hey, I can help. Put your shirt back on. Cat, <laughs> yeah, take this gun. Let's shoot. But before shooting, pick up an hourglass. 
While frozen, Themis won't be able to uh, protect himself. Ow. Can't. It's no good. I can't do it. Wait, get him. What is this fucking spread, though? I do like the time freeze effect on the uh, soundtrack here. Ow. How dare you? Oh, you one hit from dead. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Congratulations, cat. You defeated Themis. But now you have to decide again. <laughs> Are you going to help me or Kronos? I'm helping Lucio, man. Even if he won't put his fucking shirt on. And probably is going to betray us here. We got Fiend by Ben Dury. Fiend. No rating. Well, Mother, the choice is yours. Who will you help? Me or Kronos? They're all T posing. <laughs> Sorry, but Lucy is my alternate antiverse son, daughter, and it's too late after everything we've already done. <laughs> Catherine, you made the right choice. It's Kermit the Frog. Now, you must kill Kronos. He has a spear instead of a scythe. But Lucio, he is my friend. I helped him in the past that uh, one time. Lucio, my cousin. So much of a threat that we end his this life, isn't though. about moralistic perspective anymore, Mother. This is about the stake of the universe. But what will killing Kronos help to fix my... his blood, Catherine? Don't you see? He is one third of Trigor. If one is able to gain the collective soul essence of each other, what is happening? They have the ability to see fit to change not just their own reality. But every conceivable reality in the expanded universe. Mother, kill Kronos. Surely you cannot be serious about this, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, I didn't think you would actually pull through in the end. Let's just kill the Antichrist, Damien. Whoever, be done with this. But of course, Mother. But first, <laughs> wait. Who the hell are you? Catherine Blanche, my name is Hobbit. Don't trust this man. He cannot be trusted. And he is also a pervert and a terrible person. Please don't do what he says. Well, sorry, Johnny. Your, uh, your ending has been completely stomped. You know what? Fuck you both. I can do this whole thing by myself. I have the anchor of... No! You know so... No! <laughs> you know so little of its power! You! I don't give a hell if you're Lucian or not. You're helping me now. With what? With kill the Antichrist. <laughs> uh... <laughs> there you are! And Antichrist, I've come for Lucy and your blood. Oh, Catherine, you sold my puzzle room. Regardless of this fact, I will still kill you, yet you stupid fool. Perhaps. But I've come to trust many over these last few hours in-game, and I've made many friends. And we're gonna kick your ass. Oh. Wait. Oh, I gotta- I gotta fucking- Did I click this? Oh, there we go. It's like- it's like, uh, the buddy thing. <laughs> Why? <laughs> he has so much fucking health. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, interactive buddy. There we go. Oh, I do this. That's how you do it fast. Next. 
next bombs will probably kill him. That bitch. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I know the scream. Oh my god. Thank god it's got subtitles. I can barely hear it. Oh, it's an incense stick. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, this in black and white also. No. This reminds me of that one, um, that one guy that would make YouTube videos where he's like arguing with himself. It's the guy that made the hops video. <laughs> he said this is the true ending. Sorry, I talked over it, but I heard that shit. <laughs> We'll help Kronos. You know, I, I think I picked it right. <laughs> First time. Mm, there's like nothing here. By Mike. Smooth. Also, lowercase w for some reason. Impact controller, what? No rating. That was fucking fantastic. <laughs> Hmm. Oh no, we're back in William Shatner's tech war. <laughs> okay. I gotta move. Oh, that was it. Nice, sick, sick, uh, sick ending there. <laughs> All right, this time we end Kronos. Un un <clears throat> unbound. I can see the chains by Nikita uh by choose by I know I fucked that up I'm my bad warning flashing lights left mouse pull anchor right mouse throw anchor intriguing got my attention this is a Godot game. You guys didn't see the intro thing, but the the um, icon for the application that's running is the Godot like logo. Ah, oh, snap! Oh, there's combos. I skipped the cut. No, 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 no. Also, I can't stop moving forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Close this. I skipped a cutscene. We gotta go back in. Ooh, I can do that from wherever. Nice. Oh, no, no, the, I guess that just starts or whatever. It's fine. Wow, 
Fuck off. <laughs> Stop. I can't even hit TV. What? There we go. Did you not? I'm not even sure if I have health or not, but... Dude, I can't hit, like, more than one... Like, I don't know how you're supposed to combo here. I guess you're supposed to catch that right away, maybe? Oh, also taking damage breaks the combo, so... Probably shouldn't let that happen. Oh, and I lose points, too. But your combo also runs out just due to time. Like, I don't know how... I don't know, maybe you can angle it in a way where you can hit multiple, but I certainly can't. Man, I gotta break all these fucking things. I think that should have hit, like, one or two more than it did. Stop! Oh my god. Yeah, I know. He's got a shield. I can see. I got that big one up there. I'm guessing he probably dies in like one hit from like the anchor itself once his shields are all busted up. All right, bitch boy. Add it with your damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Too low. God, too early. Did you not? Hey. You have to dodge, that's my score. I don't though. You didn't you didn't put health in the game, so I don't have to dodge. <laughs> Catherine. Kronos? You're still alive? Not for long. Sorry, I had to do it. There's no other way. Doesn't matter anymore. Listen carefully. As the anchor sinks me down, I can see it all now. Every path you've taken to get to this point. You talking about what Guy has shown me? Just listen. Even Guy is oblivious to what you've been through. What do you mean? Normal people like uh, Ezra are bound by bound to chains. Every version of uh, them lives a contained life. Your fate was sunk before, and yet you were brought back to existence. With no fate to bind yourself to anyone's chains and live the rest of your life. Something transports you to the, sta to the start of another, over and over again. Like, whatever you say, sure, but Lucy is in danger and I need to help her. You already did. What's worse is it seems like you'll have to do it many more times. I can't see your end. But it's almost as if you've been cursed to haunt the chains until there are none left. What do you want about? Stop trying to confuse me. Catherine, I couldn't care less about playing mind games right now. So what can I do? Is there anything I can do at all? Catherine, don't give up. But if that's... But if all you said is true, there has to be a way for you to save yourself. Kronos? Kronos, answer me! Oh, oh god. You can hear me. Whatever's out there can hear me. Please let me go. I want to go home. I want to see Lucy again. I want to see her grow up. I want to see Ezra again. I miss him so much. Let me go. We've seen so much, right? So many different places, events, characters. I'm sure we've explored all there is. The chains are infinite. What? Alright, well, we'll explore the infinity last. I feel like that's... Actually, Let Catherine Go is probably the, the ending, like, the proper ending. So we'll explore infinity. <laughs> Amazing. No! Okay, I thought I... Just... Right, so this is SSC Official Earthquake Guide. Includes Sign of EES Interactive Demo. Also known as Sins. By Pasta's Future. Rating Blood, Glor Blood Gore and Flashing Lights. <clears throat> Mouse Website. Okay. Uh, F Interact. Welcome to the SEC Offline Training Program, Disc 1. This contains uh, digitized guides for our latest interactive demo. Begin. Quick preparation guide. Ooh. 
You know we're watching all these. We got to. Green doors, stay there. Drop cover and hold on. Get under a sturdy desk or table and hang on to it. Move into the hallway or get against the wall. If you're outside, get into the open. Away from buildings, power lines, chimneys, and anything else that might fall on you. If you are driving, stop. Move your car as far out of traffic as possible. Do not stop on or under a bridge or overpass under trees. Oh, come on. If you're on, if you are on or near a steep hillside, watch out for landslides, falling rocks, trees, and debris that could be loosened by earthquakes. That's good advice. Uh, my back button does not appear to be working. Oh. Next button doesn't work. Alright, planning ahead. Maximize window, though. One, create a family disaster plan. Two, make a complete checklist. Three, plan home escape routes. Four, make sure each family member of your family knows what to do no matter where they are when an earthquake occurs. Five, know where your gas, electric, and water main shutoffs are, how to turn them off if there's a leak or electrical short. If in doubt, ask utility companies. Six, talk to your neighbors. How could they help you? Or you help them after an earthquake. You should trust them, and they should trust you. Seven, make sure you have the supplies that last for at least three days. The most important medication for your family, food, water, battery power, matches, flashlight, and the first aid kit. Don't use anything that can be a fire hazard. It was the other thing that I missed before that shut off. All right, advice and showcase. <clears throat> it's the quietest music that's ever been. One, if you're unsure of the situation, consult our guide and trust your senses. Two, never make the mistake of leaving a safe area until officials have said on the radio it's safe to do so. Three, don't underestimate a potential threat. Looks like looks safe. A quick glance could end up costing you your life. Yeah. Always assess carefully. A hey, video in this video file. Finally. That's me. Try as they might to put it behind them. It doesn't take an eight point earthquake to be destructive. There's no season for earthquakes, and usually no warning. That makes the prediction of earthquakes the most uncertain science of all. Copyright 1989. No, I need some useful links. About to launch the interactive demo. Please make sure you watch our archived guides first for optimal training experience. Launch the signs interactive demo. Yeah. Go watch the guides. We're good to go. Whoa. Holy shit. F. Shut that gas off. Pronto. Do it. Oh. Wait. Huh? Okay. What do I do with this? I did it! Calibration detected. Amplitude 1. Or maybe, I don't know. Calibration complete. No, that's a, that's a marker. 
Gotcha. Cool. I did the thing. This is cool. <laughs> I like this. Okay. So now what? Oh, I can actually do more over here. Let's see. Oh, I gotta do it again. So is there another signal, or are we done here? Is this just fucking with me, or like, what's- oh, okay. No, we're, we're doing the right thing here. Ah, fuck you. Oh shit. Something in right here. How's that wrong? Oh, I can go up and down on this too. Okay. Dude, it's changing a bunch. What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? More? No, it's too much. There we go. What is the emergency? That's probably like a real ass recording, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Imagine getting locked in your car on a super hot day. It'd suck. I kind of feel like... It's kind of stupid, but I feel like I should put one of those, like, um... the thing you can use to smash a window. Like, I feel like I should just have one of those in my car. Because they, like, not that this is, like, a... a common threat to me from where I live and everything, but, like, they say, like, your highest chance of survival if your car ever gets, like, submerged in water is to wait for, like... Wait for it to submerge completely and then smash the window, and it's. It's hard to do that shit without like a proper tool for that. <laughs> that would also solve this problem, though, incidentally. Ooh, I can interact with something over here. This is a cool game. Except I don't quite get what's going on with these. Like, I get like, okay, I inspect that and then something else opens up. But I don't, beyond that, I don't quite get like, why I'm inspecting random stuff. Someone's coming to save me. Really, it won't be some demonic entity here to kill me.
hello wall thing again. How you doing now? Eat it? I can't. I can't, can't do anything beyond it, but like just doing this thing. Gotta go like look for a thing. Wait for the next radio signal. Correct it. Listen to actual live footage of some random hazard. Oh, maybe something's happening now. Uh, don't be an actual photo of like some disaster shit. Oh no, that's not anything like that, I don't think. You guys like that sound? <laughs> Just a straight up 9 11 photo, yeah. Yeah. It's like sending a fax. Except bad. <laughs> can I inspect anything else? Like if I go over here, can I inspect this? Nope. I hear footsteps though. Yes. Hello. Whoever's there. Kinda wish this would get to the point. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Like, this is cool, but like, man. There's so much repetition here. Decoding. Okay, maybe this is different this time. Remember when you were a worm man underground? It's pretty cool. That was the other chain, wasn't it? They sound like you. They are not you. They look like you. They are not you. They smell like you. They are you. They feel. They feel like you. They are not you. Do not let them in. I'm gonna let them in. You can't stop me. Oh, well, I can't I can't stop them from coming in either, so oh, no. I get guess... <laughs> actually a slight slight jump scare there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, like, getting tired, and I have no patience for longer games, but I feel like this one's overstaying its wel welcome a bit. <laughs> it's like, okay. Maybe this doesn't end. It says the void of infinity after all, right? That's how this was described. Yes. Hello. Come on in. So that's why we keep looking at that window. <laughs> Here we go again. 
Man, this really could have ended a while ago. <laughs> oh, decoding. Doing something different again. <laughs> nice clip. I sleep like you and wake like you. They solve like you. They are not you. They build like you. They are not you. They eat like you. They are not you. You guys like bust in here already or something? Please. Is it happening? You shouldn't stand by the window that they're trying to break into. It's for, not, for no other reason than like if they're trying to like break me out of here, you know. You don't want to be right next to where they're going to, like, bust through, right? Oy, oy, oy. This never ends, does it? We haven't seen a repeat yet. The second I see a repeat, I'm noping out of this fucking game. This started cool, but man, this one just let, like drags the fuck on, and it's the same loop. They reach like you. And climb like you. They crawl like you. E. They are not you. E, thanks to the, the raid Night Revenge. They think like you. They are not you. Anyway, how was your stream? They wait. They wait like you. We're playing Changed. It's a new collection of indie horror games that just came out today. From the second to last one. Do not let them in. And this one, it literally may never end. But also, it, it might just be really long. <laughs> I'm stuck in this really repetitive game loop right now. I'm a, I'm a little, little unhappy with it. Who knows, maybe it'll end soon. Yes, yes! Break in here, please! Something happened. Yes! <laughs> I've got an axe now. Thanks. Like, it's pretty cool. I think I'm just getting impatient because it's it's late, and I want to wrap this up, and this one's, like, one of the, long, the longest fucking games in this collection for some reason. <laughs> like, ah. Uh... Dude, I don't even know how to do this. I guess I did it. All right, then. I think that's where we are. Are they behind me? Am I gonna turn around and get jump scared? Cannot tell. This image is... That lovely sound's back though. Welcome in, raiders. <laughs> Hope you guys didn't like your hearing. Getting a fax from space. 
Yeah, that is where we're at. Okay. I can't move. I, I, God damn it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like they could have mixed it up more. Not just repair the signal, repair the signal, repair the signal, you know? Started out well enough. Oops. Oops, a daisy. Another repetitive message. You know, it is pretty impressive though. There's like 42 games or something in this. In wall doors. It's everything Five Nights at Freddy's wishes it was. In doors like you. Inside like you. They are not you. Like, it's a decent a atmosphere and everything, but man, just pacing. They come for you. They are not you. They like... They like you. The, the thing is, like, this is weird for, like, do not let them in. This is weird for, like, a final, uh, ending in, like, this, like, super secret area that we're in. Like, I feel like this would be fine to put at the end of, like, any of the normal routes that you can go. But this is, like, we're in, like, the, like, oh, you did all the, like routing and now you can see the super secret like path and this is just completely unrelated to anything that that's in the revelations of like what's happening in those i think that's probably my main qualm there we go now we're dead we fell on our own axe i guess something's happening at least you know Or we killed someone that was trying to rescue us from this earthquake. Okay, I, I, but yeah, anyway, like I was saying, there's a lot of games in this collection, and honestly, like, this is the only one that I even, like, complained about at all. <laughs> yeah, we killed a firefighter. Good job, man. That's pretty much where I thought that was going. Or, well, where we could all see where it was going, I guess. Rather, it's not the most... Insane twist. Pretty good atmosphere, but man, you could have just like cut half that stuff and have the same effect on everything. I mean, I get it. I get why people use re rep uh, repetition and like little horror things like this because like you know it puts you on edge it builds that atmosphere i can't do anything right now by the way oh there we go unexpected error illegal operation performed program will shut down if problem exists contact the program vendor all right that was the official Earthquake Guide. We have one more game to play. We're gonna let Catherine go, and I assume this is probably like, if there was a canon ending, it's probably this. I know the end. What's that say? Oh, I know the end. <laughs> By MMM. Mouse to interact, no rating. And that's when the fourth tier of super duper secret uh, chain things show up after we beat this. <laughs> Please no. Uh, is this supposed to be a blank void? Oh yeah. You have to let Catherine go. There is nothing left for you here. Okay. Is that, is this the entire game? There's no way.
It might be. Oh no, here we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, that's in stark contrast to the last game, I suppose. If I click enough, something else will happen. Well, I was expecting something somewhat meta in terms of like, you know, we've had all these branching paths and everything. Yeah, that's, that's just it. I'm going to click every single individual letter to make sure I'm not being duped here. 50, yeah, it's a cookie clicker. Yeah, no. I think, I think. All right. Let's let it sit for a minute here. Maybe something will happen. <laughs> you got me. Just making sure you know. Texting and streaming. Yeah, I'm literally just waiting for something to happen here. You know what's funny? I can't even close this. <laughs> Wait. Some of the buttons make the clicking noise. No, it's just space and enter, though. Alright. I'm gonna say we beat it. The game thinks I beat it too, but also to be fair, if you just close any of these games after opening them, it thinks you beat them. <laughs> cool. Well, we did every single branching path. Uh, yeah, this was pretty cool. Notable highlights. This one with the fucking... <laughs> the live action. <laughs> Finale and the like T posing models voice acted ending. Uh, the golf one <laughs> with the the lack of animation at the end and the rushed meme ending. Uh, the Star Fox simulator. Uh, that point and click was pretty cool. I forget where that was. I'm not just saying that because the developer of that one popped in while we were playing it. It was like it's like I summoned him. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. Not that one. Oh yeah, no, it was after Time Harrier. So it must have been this, I think? Yeah, I was like, hey! <laughs> this person, and they're like, hello, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> the chair. Yeah, that person also was here. It's dope. I, man, like, I love- okay, I know- it's no secret I love playing these, like, collections of, like, indie games and all that stuff. Uh, but it's super dope when, like, some of those people actually, like, pop into stream. It's happened a couple times, or like YouTube comments as well for the VOD uploads. But yeah, no, no, you, uh, I think this is before you got here, Reyna. Uh, the person that made this one also was in here. Like, they, sh they showed up exactly while I was reading the details and like who made it and everything. <laughs> oh, you're here again. <laughs> nice. Right on. Well, I just finished things. Unless I didn't. I don't know. I don't know if I missed something in this one, but I think I didn't. I think the point of that is that there's just nothing in there. But yeah. Excellent collection. And not that I'm surprised, all these collections are freaking awesome, but man, yeah. <laughs> cool stuff. But uh yeah. I think I'm done, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get going. Glad you enjoyed it? Absolutely. Thank again, thanks for contributing to it, like it's so cool to see these like massive collaboration projects, and th this is like huge. 
I know the games are on on average a bit shorter, but like still, that's still a lot of freaking games. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll see y'all in the next one, I guess. But uh, so since we finished this on Thursday, so I won't I won't be streaming tomorrow, but on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to restart my run of Elden Ring, because I never actually finished that game last year when it came out. Uh, and I think I'm going to reserve Thursdays for, like, Elden Ring Day, and then Tuesdays we'll do, like, N64 stuff and other random games. Uh, and Sundays will remain game dev streams, and then any other random streams in between that will be whatever. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. This has been really fun, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and let me give